Is this still the city of love?
I uh, apologise. Um, they apologise. I suppose I should. Uh, I can just apologise, really. Um, let's put that up there. Um, be better, I'll, I'll do. I'll, I'll do better. Uh, right. First of all, first of all, let's bring that right in. Um, do what you need to do, mate. Thank you very much, uh, Misty Mandolin. First of all, let's get everything set up for the bet. Right. Let's get that out of the way. Right. Uh, Right, uh, and and then we'll get on with, uh, with thanking you uh, for the subs and so on. I do apologise uh, for this, so I can do apologise. Uh, start prediction, and there's your bet there. Is uh, this still the city of? Love? How many subs will be in the top ten? Uh, that's your bet there for today. Ah. Uh, Ellis thinks and Bomega Man. Alex Winters thinks and subs. Can I get a slipping on some ice blam, please? <laughs> ten out of ten, eight out of ten, thank you very much. Thanks. Charles Core thinks a sub. Corin Rose. Thanks to subs, can I have a sliding on ice blam? Noz, Mighty Average, El Murph, Mark, Dale, thanks to subs. I'm very well this morning. Monday morning's always a wee bit of a rush. Always a wee bit of a rush. Kinda. Depending. Uh, Dale, Gurpings. Thanks to subs. Can you tell Karen Wino Lodge to calm her jets with the tidying up? Karen Wino Lodge, uh, you have to calm your jets with the tidying up. It's a Monday. Thomas James Henley, thanks to sub. I made a Lemmy Sergeant Peppers thing a while back. Not sure if you remember it. I don't. I'm thinking of making a new updated one soon. Who do you think needs to be there and amongst the crowd? I really don't know. Thanks to tier two. Um, let me show characters. Um, um you probably you probably put you, what what like like uh, characters for for the tele programs. Um, If you mean like, uh, I, I don't know, people connected to this stream in some sort of way, uh, don't do that. You will put somebody in there that I fucking hate. You'll go, like, oh, I did, they appeared. I did, they're, they're part of us, they're, 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 they're good laugh, them. Fucking hate them. Let's fucking go. Send a lawyer's letter or something. I wish to be removed from this graphic that a, a member of your community has made on your behalf. Like, what? What? A member of your community? My what? A member of my fucking what? Who? Let's get started.
old streamer hates the word community. Fucking day, man. <laughs> A member of Lemmy's community. Meaning fucking what? Some cunt that comes into my fucking stream? A member of Lemmy's community. Somebody who likes Lemmy uh, did this um, thingy graphic that I'm in and I wish to be removed of. Lemmy, I ask you, cease and desist. What? By the way, this is an imaginary argument. This isn't happened. A member of your community. My what? One, two, three, four, five, six. Wait a minute. We've got one, two, a three, four, five. And then we've got a minimum of six. This depends on powerful can. Powerful can. This will take it either for the 46 up to the 78, depending. In fact, let's find it. I will find it. Forward slash user. A powerful can. Sub for four months. No, final checks. Just scroll up to see if that just became a sub like that. I'm not seeing it. I'm not seeing it. In other words, in other words, that's a sub there. A one, two, a three, four, five, six, seven. That is in your seven to eight bracket. Am I absolutely, completely, and utterly sure? There's a there's a wee bit in me that isn't it. Bang. They are they are currently a sub. But some people to throw the, the, the gamble because they, they care about the channel points that much will gift a sub to that person once the results have come in to make them a sub to get the numbers up. And I don't allow that. It, it would be in my financial interests to allow that. So people go like, gifts up, gifts, 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 gifts. Nope. You take your time, Chris, congrats, you take your time. If you like that song, look on YouTube, Lemmy, 12 hours, uh, Vivaldi, four seasons or whatever it is. 12 hours or not. But Lemmy, that's not all four seasons, that's just the, whatever. 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 Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, exceptional Lazy Kid Herdo I'll, I'll check it out Spiral Architecti Atava Kron I are done Picky Bugger thinks the subs Glad you like the 3 to 1 streams Because we're going to have a fucking other one coming right up AGWR Shove it up Shove it up your ass Dirty Onion thinks the sub Merry Christmas and Happy New Year to you as well Fornia Thinks the sub Glad you like the sad, the, the happiness. Sad girl and sub a dub. Uh, Tambo thinks the subs. Thank you very much. Carlos and Kieran, Sandra, chilled, Gabagool. Thanks for subs. What your Christmas plans? Need your fucking business. You want to know where I'm and when, so you can. Oh look! Oh oh, that's that's mad. Oh, can't believe I bumped into you, Lummy. Oh. Big fun. Oh, fancy bumping into you here at this restaurant at this time. No, I'm the one for a. I was. I. I. I I'm not actually in. He, and it, I, I was going to kind of come into book uh, something. I just decided not to. But fancy seeing you here. Met on Astro Spleen. Thanks to subs. You look beautiful, even when you don't try. Captain Spectacular. Thanks to sub. What's the best way to watch Lemmy show now that it's gone for the iPlayer? Is that the actual? It's actually gone. Lemmy's homemade show, uh, the first, uh, the pilot, 
is now on the iPlayer. And then the next three episodes are going to be on every Wednesday, I think. But let me show... I don't know where the fuck it is. I don't care. I mean, I do care, but I don't, I don't know. Naomi Marge and Dave... Tempo Jive thinks it's something. I'll make sure that it's passed on to the Bobby's Dreamy, Dreamies Fund. Absolutely. Tempo Jive, uh, late, late to our 43 month anniversary. Serious questions need to be asked and answered here. Catastrophica, Burkey Tudger, thinks it's sub. 3 to 1 was based on a Spanish game show called Un Dos Tres. I, did, I, I know I, I did see the wee bit at the beginning as well. Spudzilla, Media Rumble, Barbel, Spiteful Pinecone, MZ, thanks to subs. I'm reading all these sub messages. Handed in my, f my notice four weeks ago, watching this whilst I get ready to head in for the last time as I slept in. Fucking enjoy. Enjoy your last day. I've got a kind of, it's a sort of wee kind of back light kind of wee bounce that you get in like uh, games when they light a character in the game you know we kind of light coming through the back no no like that no like that light well that's I've not actually got that anymore but kind of just for the side just to get a wee bounce there or a wee bounce there Connie Wynn takes a sub who's Connie Wynn Bell and Emery Glass Thanks for sub. Stole your queen's hand joke the other day. Cheers for that. Don't worry, it's not my joke. I got it off a guy in Sainsbury's collecting for charity. Pie Teats, Tal Arm, Flaccid House and Brad Walsh, Les Dennis and Mickey Maestro. Thanks for subs. Uh, my favourite Cure song. Well, it used to be Friday I'm in Love. Lynn likes the Cure. She doesn't really doesn't like that song. Then she started playing that. Uh, is it Picture of You or something? Picture... Photograph, I don't know what the fuck it is. She's playing that quite a few times, and I was like, oh, I like that. I like that. Pictures of you. I thought, I like that. Les Dennis thinks the bits. Can we get the Kill Jester CSS server back when they go, got a hand kind of about a uh, death run? Were you on that back, back then? That's fucking it. I feel, it feels like fucking 30 years ago. Now that would be fucking good. Imagine that. A good old fucking... Um, Counter-Strike. Counter-Strike Source. Well, not even CSGO. Fucking Counter-Strike Source. Get fucking office on all the time. Christmas means rust. 1030. Who who would do that? What mug would start a fucking rust server? I tell you who would start a rust server. Somebody who hasn't started a rust server before. Fucking hell, man. Go and find it. Go on. Get mug ends. Go on. Get, get a rust server started. And you go. Uh, kick, 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 thanks to the sub. Can I get a shout out for my cat Hex? He's a stinky one today. Have a glorious one. Big shout out to your cat Hex. I'm just picturing a wee uh, Hex totem in Dead by Daylight. When you find it, fucking magic. Camera. Thanks to the sub. Mickey Maestro threw me. Daffod, thanks to the subs. Thank you very much. Worth every penny, thanks. A smile and a coquettish wink, please. I don't know what that is, but there you go. Bad itchy scroll. Death kiss my face. Thank you very much. Effin and Operation Johnny Coconut, thanks to the subs. Thank you very much. Um, I'll get on with the. I see. Uh, here, here's all day. Here's all day. Here's all day. Right. Here's how to streamline it. See, on a Monday, you very generous people are subbing and things like that. There's a lot to read out because I thank everybody. 
during that time, I could be doing something. Like the bet. Like this fact did that. Uh, the improv story can wait. I'll do that, I'll do that as the last wee thing. Uh, but while I've got some minutes of doing nothing but waiting for the bet, you know, the one minute. That's a four, but the next card be higher, lower than the same. Ace is high, Gambia trying to points now. Is this still the city of love? Where the fuck am I? MIP, Democracy Manifest. And Wix is, is, is the name, thanks for subs. Thank you very much. Coconut, thanks again, thanks for sub. Would you rather fight Father Christmas or Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer? Father Christmas, because it's a human, I don't want to hurt animals. Other than when I eat them. I don't want, I don't want them in any pain. Just want them alive one minute, just eat the next. No, no pain. I'm not proud of being a meat eater. I'm not proud of it. I'm not proud of it. There's the sun coming through the windy. That's good, that gives a nice... It's Unreal Engine 5. Did you hear what's coming to... Um, Grand Theft Auto 5? R RTX. Ray, uh, like, ray tracing. Uh, yes. Yes. That's higher. That's higher by one. That's that. Just pop over here. And get your wee, uh, get your wee wheel there for you, just to do the last wee thing of the bets. We'll just get this out of the way. What do you think it's going to be? Gamble your channel points right Is now. Is this still the city of love? And while that's happening, we're just going to pop over to Herdo. And I've got some shout outs to do. Uh, thank yous for everybody. And of course, there's an improv story. And then we've got your three, two, ones. There's just a big, big day. Big day today. I did not look at that. It's already done. Right. Is it done? Submissions closed. Right. They were easy. If you know them, you know them. Oh! No. Oh! No. Boring. No. Um, man tries to return cold coffee. All right. Try not to make it too uh, curb your enthusiasm. Man tries to return cold coffee. Coffee. Is this still the city of... This improv story is based on the idea man tries to return cold coffee. Let the uh, story commence. Craig went like, Coff this coffee's cold. And they went, um, no it isn't. It is. And they felt it when it is. They went, look, I'll prove it. And he took the lid off and chucked it right in the person's face. And he went like, ah, ah. And he went like, see, he went like, see. And then they said, no, it's not because it's hot, it's because you just chuck coffee over me cold or, 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 or hot. He went, you screamed in pain. No, I didn't. He? Ah, you did. Bang. Punched him and he had a, a ring, a, a sovereign ring, like a big kind of coin thing, hit them right in the eye, popped her eye open, and then he went like here, and he locked, <laughs> he locked the front doors of the, this coffee shop, 
I went, nay cunts getting out, you're all going to die and so ma. And he set the whole place on fire and himself. Oh fucking, I was 22, 22 people did. The end. And that's a true story, how do I know? Because I, it was fucking, it was me. But I came back to life. Now watch this everybody. Uh, let's see. At random name. Coffee was hot by then, says Mr. Chunks. Spotlight. Mr. Chunks. Mr. Chunks, say anything. Say anything. Anything? Hello? Anything? Good, 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 good. It works. Just need to sort out, like, double lines and all that. Thank you very much. So your spotlight's back up and running. So your spotlight is back up and running. I, I, I looked at the code. I saw what I'd fucked up. I'd taken something out that I shouldn't have taken out. I had to put it back in. Um, da, 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 da. Tommy Hans, Hermit Wise, Democracy Manifest, and Mippy. Thanks to subs. Have you ever shot yourself as an adult? Completely shot myself, no. There's a thing where I was a. Uh, um, I had a. I hung air and maybe had food poisoning or fuck knows. I don't know, I don't think that counts. Does it count as a full shot yourself, I don't think. Tankenstein. Digits. Jake is not awake, thanks to the subs. Hair's looking lovely today. Really youthful look you have there, thanks. Dr. Jones. Jake is not awake. Randy Battenberg, thanks to the subs. The Lemmy Show is on Amazon Prime to buy in the UK, folks. That sounds interesting. Don't know what's got to do with me. My programme is called Limmy's Show. Sly Hannah thinks it's up. I got my platinum trophy for Elden Ring on my PS4 yesterday. Can you tell me you're proud of me? I'm so proud of you. Well done. Blade Runner. The Glazebury Mafia thinks it's subs. Thank you very much. 19 small 85. Whatever the fuck that means. Glad you like the, the cannonballs. Oh, I. People complain your stream's content and quality, but after reviewing of the cannonballs stuff, reluctantly, we have to admit we are lucky to have you. Thank you very much. Ersha Cow. Thanks to sub 10 year, over 10 years fan. Don't let the two month sub fool you. Just slow down. There's a lot to read, there's a lot to catch up with, but the faster you go, the more you're going to stumble on your words and you're not going to enjoy it. Savour it. Enjoy your life. Rob Waffle. Harry Mellon. Thinks it serves. My cat's not an outdoor cat, but she keeps getting out. Any tips? Um, is she not an outdoor cat? We were told time and time again. Oh, don't let your don't let uh, ragdolls out. Uh, don't let ragdoll cats out. They're not very good at being out. Uh, don't let them out. Bobby's fucking fine. We're, we're sprinting for the door. Bobby's going to get it! Bobby's gonna get it! Absolutely fucking fine. Goes out, comes back. Goes out, comes back. Does say thanks to Tier 2, thank you very much. Became a dad on Friday, saw England lose on Saturday, perfect weekend. Uh, congrats on being a dad. Good luck. Misty, thanks to 3 quid. You're very welcome. I'll pass it on to Bobby. Kieran, Deadpan Crypto, Postal. Thanks to subs, my hatred for you grows. Rich Beef, thanks to sub. My favourite game this year. Um, Rust. Definitely Rust. Right back at the beginning. Rodeo Clown, Zabalbus, thanks to subs, big happy ninth birthday to Rust, that's right, Zabalbus. Zab 
fucking tweet? Thank you very much for tier two. Kieran Zarosa, the Charmaine, Almo, Moon Cadaver, Happy New Year to you as well. Glad you like the golden light. I need to stop this leaning forward. Lean fucking back. Lean back. Right back. Lean right back. Like, oh, the team, like, oh, I need to get into the mic. Fucking fuck your back up. Almo and uh, Gemma Sita, stupor charged. Keep on keeping on. Kerry Bold thinks it's up. Watching all this 80s telly with you feels like the final days of school before Christmas. Aye. That's how it feels to me. Because I keep meaning to like start a new game, but I'm just like, I, I feel like it's like Friday. It just always feels like Friday. And I'm like, don't start a new game. But it's got it's Friday, it's got it's gonna be like the weekend and then you pick up on the Monday. We we three two one, it's a, a, a laugh taking a piss out of it or whatever. And um it's done by the end of that stream. Okay, Duckhead thinks the sub. Red Rover, Red Rover we call Lemmy to come over. PS you should see the alternative name for this game on Wikipedia. All Forgotten Dreams, thanks, thanks to the sub. Any funny anecdotes Anecdotes when you were on set as Daniel Craig's body double for the shot of him walking out of the sea in Casino Royale? <laughs> Fucking hell! But let me, it's, you know, Daniel's Craig, Daniel Craig's body was good when he came at the, you know, he's not having to go yet. I know, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't, it doesn't, what? See it, by the way, see that fucking Daniel Craig dancing. Is that a music video or something? Cringe. Is it an advert? It's an advert. What's that an advert for? A vodka thing. Cringe. Now, why am I cringing? Why am I cringing? No quite overacting. No, no, no dan dancing. No jealousy. Because you hate everything. No. Something might have already said it. Because it's trying too hard, no quite. It's directed by... I can't, I can't remember how to say his name. Which is why it's a bit out there. It's no fucking out there. It's not out there. It's not out there. Alright? They think it's funny, but it's not. That's one of them. Well, for me anyway. It's trying to be a meme, kinda. It's trying to be too edgy. I don't think it's edgy, but reference humor, right? Um, it's no weapon of choice, I lanky. It's just fucking weapon of choice. It's fucking weapon of choice. Try to be Christopher Walken. Yep, yeah. that's it. Just, I'm just like, oh, I remember this when it was well, the first time it was done. Is it like is it fifty years past since fucking weapon of choice? Rainy and player cake JT Bar thinks thinks the subs just slow down. You're you're stuttering. I've been trying to find the episode of Lemmy Show where Falkenhoof is talking to a traveller he knows who is shagging a girl who fancies Falkenhoof. Any ideas, please? It's that one. It's that one. I 
I don't know. I don't know. I wouldn't know how to find it. Um, it sounds like possibly third series. I don't know. I don't know things like third series, second episode. I'm not sure. I don't have. I've got a spreadsheet somewhere, but I don't know if it's up to date. Um, I'm so I'm really really sorry uh, for the bad mood. It's just this fucking lot. Oh, um, oh, Daniel Craig's body double. Quite like that thing. Of it's obviously it's all kind of blown out, but as they say, but he's not a, a realistic. Yeah, you know, just a bit of contrast. Daniel Craig is pretty boring. I've never, I've never been a deal. Never been that in there. Not against the guy. Not against the guy. Director's cut. Get your salty fuck. Oh, cringe! Cringe, man! Fucking mad looking cunt, isn't he? <laughs> Fucking mad looking cunt. Looks like you. He's. It's funny, he's like. Um, I don't know, it's like the sort of cunt he should never have been. James Bond, I, he's, he's kind of, he's, he does, I don't, I don't look, we don't look like each other, but it's the same mad kind of fucking brow that I, sort of, that I've got kind of, but just, I don't know, it, it just, I don't know, it's it, uh, unconventional. Get to fuck, man! Get to fuck! I've got to turn her down. Get to fuck, man! Fucking hotel. Get to fuck, man! Get to fuck! Get to fuck, man! What a fucking rip off, man! It's fucking no good enough. Um, Daniel Craig, like you've never seen him before, you know that kind of thing. Uh, this is Daniel Craig, but like you have never seen him before. Daniel Craig, now that he has quit James Bond. Let's his hair down. You know, that kind of thing. What's that? Everything is so shit, says Terran Turner, well fucking said. Ha 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 ha. Where did they get the ideas for? Ha ha ha. It's crazy. This is crazy. This is crazy! Get to fuck! Gogsy thinks of the bits. Thank you very much. Spugman, what's the best Christmas dessert? You. Boomtown Ross thinks of the sub. JT Bath thinks of the sub. Where the fuck am I? Kenzarosa. 
Rainy player cake, Matt Lone, Randy Battenberg thinks of subs and bits. Ornate Horned Frog thinks of subs. You look like Daniel Craig if he'd been through de aging and then re aging technology. I like a kind of like kind of Google Translate, translate for that to that, and then back again, and it's changed. Laundry Worker thinks of sub. Thank you very much. Ra Ra Randy Battenberg thinks of the bits. Thank you very much. I am Brew Bar thinks of the sub. I'd say thanks to the 32 months of entertainment and last, but I'm no a liar. Andy Sandal thinks of the sub. Get that fucking light, it's, it's bouncing off that. Watch the last week's 3 to 1 stream. Did you spot the wife pick the bin over the car? By doing any mini mini mo to select between, we're going to be watching three to one a day, and that last one we watched that one. That was, what was it again? Dusty bin was simply because it said, "Oh, this is simple." Well, what looks, what's the simplest looking thing in 3, 2, 1? That's right, it's Dusty Bin. All these other wee clues in the poem thing. And simply because it said, oh, it's simple or something. Now, what else? What, what's the simplest looking thing in 3, 2, 1? That's right, it's Dusty Bin. You've rejected Dusty Bin. What? What? It's written time, thanks for sub. Love hanging out with you clowns in the morning. Good morning, welcome in. Queef, Fawzi, thanks for subs. A bit three to one today, yes. Some generation game this week. I've said three to one. It's in the title, maybe the morrow, but three to one today, and let's get it up and running right fucking now. Let's check it. Let's see what we've got. Let's see. What's this? The New Year Show, New Year's Eve, 1985. What is that? Is that that cunt? Is that that Scottish guy? God, tonight you were coming here for a nice, quiet, sober night out, but you're wrong because tonight, Michael, Michael, this is your life! <laughs> He's fucking... I said my feet's like ice. He said, my feet's like chalk eyes. Yeah. Fucking hell, this is br See, you would... Do you even know that he's doing an impression of um, Jimmy Cricket? What's his name? He's Scottish, isn't he? It's not like Andy... Alan Stewart, right. I got some more. What's your first name? Michael. Okay, Michael, Michael. Yes, man! Hold on. Of course, the great tradition up here is the first foot tradition. You know that here in Oh, it's Scottish. We are told that stranger. No one might walk up with Rusty Lee. So I wonder if it's I wonder. Just wait From Scottish television. So this is for STV. Hogmanay, STV, 1985. Sound would have been uh, 11. And look. Yes, man. You see, we can take a wee joke. This is a Scottish programme. It's just to show that you're hard feelings. Come on, on, Russ. Russ Abbott, we'd like to invite you on to our actual Scottish Hogmanay programme. They're kind of wicker man sort of thing. I would like to invite you up, aye. What up? Come on, no, look, come on. Not only right, come on. 
First foot tradition, the first foot is supposed to bring in... Fucking magic. Happy New Year! Uh, happy New Year! See, see, Oh, you've done a kind of really Jewish, and I wish he was not sure what to put a kind of Jewish. She was not a stretch, she couldn't get a Jewish. What's it? See, you've got a text. I'm like, oh, 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 Is that him that sang Donald Wears Your Trousers? Okay, dokie. No, isn't he? Right. Breath, man. Breath. Right. Three, two, one. Philly and DJ Salty Peanuts thinks the subs. Can I get a shout out for the England team? Best of luck in the semi finals. It's coming home. Good luck, England. You can do it. Fucking love that they, they go well there. They always go well there somewhere in the World Cup thinking that they're fucking the real deal. It's because they're, they're that used to comparing themselves to Wales next to them or Scotland next to them and all that. And they think, but no, they think they're world class. They're no, he's only, he's only world class. He's only world class. All right. He's only world class. Go back to the envy daft impressions of Scottish people to make yourselves feel better. And you go. Is a not. Is a, you've made this family of nations a joke on the world stage. A joke on the world stage. A we were promised if we voted against Scottish independence to have a seat at the top table. I remember, I remember hearing that part all the time. A seat at the top table. We would lose our seat at the top table. I remember hearing that again and again. What the fuck is the top table anyway? What is the top table? Is it in terms of height? Or is it like at a wedding? See that table L there? Where like the the bride and groomer? Is that the top table? What is the top table? What does it look like in, in the real world? What, the analogy? What is the top table? What is the top table? The table with loads of haggis, says someone else in chat. Philly, um, Dave the Train, thanks the subs. Can I put this towards Bobby's Christmas hamper? I'll make sure that goes right towards the, the Dreamy's hamper. James Henry, thanks the sub. Glad you like the book. Glad you're liking it halfway through it. I finished the remains of the day and I, I really liked it. F, uh, I'm not seeing, it looks fine here, looks fine here, I'm ready to rock and roll, if it does go down I'm ready to rock and roll, I've got the phone there, small F, data wise it looks fine to me but, uh, right let's get fucking into it one. Spark Soul Chicken thinks the subs. Ruth Maddock died the day after you featured her on Thursday's stream. Which beloved British TV icon might you mark for death this week? I know um, it does make you think. Well, we'll see who appears in 3 to 1. We'll see who appears in it. We are Bix Licks thinks the bits. By a lot of averages, it will come home at some point. Then it leaves again for 50 years next World Cup. I'll be honest with you, I can't, I, I struggle to pure get right into it. 
to really care. I just thought somebody to tweet might get a few retweets, but I don't actually give a fuck. It was good. I did like the missing penalty. See, the first penalty, the first penalty, um, when he was going to kick that, I said to, I said to Lynn, what do you think? And she, and she said he's gone in. I went, it's not going to go in. Not only that, it's not even going to be on target. It's not even going to be on target. And then it went in. I was like, bastard. The second one, though, I was right about that. But I didn't say it for the second one, though. I said, that's the one I meant. I meant that one. I meant that one. Right, the Old West, I think we've watched that one about, like, a year ago. Superheroes, maybe. They've got an 87 one. That could be really... Spine chillers. Spine chillers. And we are fucking back. We are back. And we are fucking back. It's a quiz, it's a game, it's fortune and fame, based on, what is, what language is that? Because obviously it, it looks Spanish, but is it all Uno? Why Un or Un and not Uno dos tres, just truncated? Can you do that? Just colloquial. Colloquial in, in the, the title. What's one, two, three in Portuguese? Portuguese. Oh, one, two, three. Um, or um, uma, dos, tres, quatro. Oh, right, so that's kind of got different ways of saying it. So, same for Spanish then. Oh, fuck off. I learned, I learned how to count to ten in Spanish for Sesame Street. Yeah. No, the pinball one. Lanky, was the pinball one Spanish? Well, it was sometimes, was it? Was it? Oh, I remember it was 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. The, the one I'm thinking of is uno, dos, tres, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cuatro, cinco, cinco, siete, ocho, nueve, diez. That's me, that's me doing a sped up version. And I think that's for Sesame Street. I like Sesame Street. Ted Rogers will shake the hand of only of of only two people. One, two, basta. I knew I was actually going to go for four, but I thought I'm going to do something wild. It's fucking five. It's five. Five. Thank you. Thanks so much. Welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen. Ted Rogers saying his time once again for three, two, one. Show that's got you know, that might have been an actual 3 2 1 there. So much. Welcome once again, ladies and gentlemen. Ted Rogers saying his time once. So, this has been going for three years by this point. Uh, I, I, I mean, it's a wee bit blurry, but 
if he held up their fingers in a loud factory for how many he wanted, I'd look at the pinky and go, that pinky is sufficiently done for me to go, that's three. Because the three's right fucking up. Even if the pinky's up a bit, the three's right up. Let's start Let's start the week with that, that being a beat. Let's start the week with three. Right, that's the three. 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 The ring finger is right up. Right? That's three, three, one. Three, three, one. Fuck. Show that's got the lot. Thank you so much for joining us, and thank you once again, studio audience. I'd like to introduce you to one or two parties we've got here. I know we've got the YMCA here, haven't we, somewhere? Are oh, there, good, good. Ooh. Party of shop fitters here, is that right? Ah! The uh, wait a wee second. This is sounding familiar. Shop fitters, they've told me they'll convert anything. They've no, they've just converted a British Railways waiting room into a freezer centre. <laughs> Sounds familiar. It's going to be easy going, of course, for our contestants, we hope. There's only one hazard for them, you know who that is, the bin of tin, who's mislaid many, my old friend Dusty Bin. Greet him. Well, you see... You see, Ted... You see... British Rail, was that no... Na uh, was that no, like, nationalised by that point? Was that no, like, a kind of corporation? I can't remember. It was still national. So, um, I don't know. I was going to have a go at them for wondering about tax. Uh, but, fuck it. Oh. Wow. This looks familiar. There he goes. Ha ha ha, lummy. He's got your forehead. Win him, of course, and he'll soon wipe the grin. Looking after him this week, we've got that lovely lady, Libby Roberts. Libs, how are you? Now. Are they going to make Libby do a kind of, oh, I forgot what programme I'm on. I'm pure daft me. Right, thanks to three quid. Absolutely loving working from home, all cosy watching these shitey Christmas specials. Glad you're enjoying it. This isn't a Christmas special, though, but we are fucking keeping up the three, two, one. Afrojet, Jot, Jet, Jot, thanks to sub. OK, what's this little character up to this week? Well, Dusty's dressed up as Frankenbin this week because Frank the theme bin? of our show is... Please don't interrupt, Ted! We heard her saying Frankenbin. Don't just fucking talk error. Frankenbin. That causes people... If, if, if somebody does that to me, it causes me to stutter or stammer. And you have got a fucking problem with fucking your words up, right? Don't try and make other people fuck up to make yourself look better. Spine chilling this week. Well, Dusty's dressed up as Frankenbin this week because Frank the theme bin. of our show is spine chillers. Uh -huh. The name of our show is dressed up as Frankenbin. Frankenbin. The name. The name of our show. Please don't speak over me. And joining in with the thrilling and the chilling will be lots of super guests and some very scary surprises. Indeed, mm. they will. And of course, as always, the most important people here are contestants. Well, no, really. It's us, the viewers. I bet you any money before... Uh, before they went on air, before they started filming, uh, they rehearsed and he said, Oh, Frank had been... And it sort of fucked up, you know, fucked her up a wee bit, sort of made, made her sort of stumble. And, and the director said, um, I haven't all right. Oh, just, I just wasn't expecting that there. Oh, I, right, so Ted, just let Libby say her thing, right? Libby, you say that, Ted, don't interrupt, right? Because it's kind of, you know, like, sort of fuck, makes the person fuck up the words. All right, 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 right. And I, I think he, in rehearsal, didn't say anything and then waited until it was getting recorded. To, to completely fuck it up for her. But she knew it. She probably was speaking to Alison Temple Savage and said, can I run these lines with you? 
Oh, I only go right. So I've got something, something, something. Right, not uh, some a uh, Franken bin. Right, now Alison, could you do my wee favour? Alison Temple Savage. Gonna interrupt. Gonna try and interrupt me. What do you mean? See when I say Franken bin, gonna say Franken bin, Franken bin, Franken. You know something like that. Right, just just there. All right, and and so we have here Franken bin, Franken bin, Franken. And what we have here. And then I think they rehearsed that and rehearsed that until Libby did not get put off by getting interrupted. So that when Ted actually pulled that stunt there... Well, Dusty's dressed up as Frankenbin this week because the theme of our show is... See? Uh She just kept on going because she had rehearsed like fuck with Alison, Temple Savage. Definite. Joining him with the thrilling and the chilling. Definitely. The most important people here are contestants. Uh, did I ever tell you the time when I was rehearsing for my first uh, Glasgow Comedy Festival show? Um, in fact, I think when I was rehearsing for my first ever bit of stand up, just for just 10 minutes, I rehearsed and rehearsed and rehearsed and rehearsed and rehearsed. It was just a kind of sketch thing I did, kind of turning one way, turning the other. I wrote it in my book. Um, did it again and again and again and again and again and then did it sort of fast so I just remembered it as I was going about doing stuff and then I happened to glance at myself in the mirror when I was doing it rehearsing it having completely rehearsed it knew it back to front it was only like 10 minutes or something Um, but see when I caught when I made eye contact with myself it, it, it fucked it up when I was rehearsing in the house I call it that I I so something, 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 something. And, and just making eye contact with myself um, took the attention off my mind for a wee moment. And, and I stumbled there my fucking words. I was like, fucking hell. And I tried it again and I sort of went through my lines, went through my lines, went through my lines and I looked at myself in the mirror and I, I tried to do it and I, I kept fucking it up. I said, like, you're fucked. You go and do that on stage and you make eye contact when they cunt. That's going to, I don't know, distract you. So then I had to rehearse it in front of the mirror. Looking at my eyes, looking at my eyes, looking at my eyes. Um, you're staring like that and then looking away and looking, looking away, looking. And that was it. Um, I thought, that's it, it's fine. And then I was doing it in the... I was rehearsing in the shower and for some reason... For some reason, I had the light off. I just thought, fuck it. I, I don't know why the light was off in the shower, but I just had a shower um, with the light off. Um, it was the, it's not like the electricity went off or something. I can't fucking remember why. But um, I don't know if it's because it there was an extractor fan in this flat we stayed in and I didn't want it on. I can't fucking remember. But see, in the darkness, I kept fucking up my lines. It's as if my, my mind, um, without something to look at, without something to kind of look about it, the kind of sensory deprivation in a way, fucked with my concentration. And I couldn't do it, so I fucking uh, rehearsed it in the fucking dark. I rehearsed it in the dark. I rehearsed it with the lights on. I rehearsed it looking at the mirror, looking away, looking back. Um, fucking did it again and again. Because I thought, if you do that on stage... The light's going to be in your eyes. You're not going to be able to see anybody because it's all dark anyway. You're going to fuck it up. So I was just doing that constantly and it all went, well, absolutely fucking shiting myself before doing it though. Solarised and yes, I'm Lulu. Thanks for the subs. The gift subs, thank you very much. Snafu, thanks for the sub. Thank you very much. Here we go. Here we go. We've got today. Roger and Diane Trevitt from Clet Heaton. Where's that? It sounds like an English place, but it actually sounds a bit Welsh. It sounds like I had a bit of kind of clay, you know, like that. Like Plathelia or whatever, however you, you say it. Bradford? All right. Graham and Pauline Hutchinson from Lanford. Don't know. Never heard it. 
how long can you smile for? It's harder for them up the top left because they've had, they've had to date for the longest. Look at them up the top left. Roger and Diane Trevis from Clet-Heaton. Just keep looking at them up the top left. Graham and Pauline Hutchinson from Lanford. They're speaking. It's a long time. Martin and Michelle Walter Top left. Quite a long time. Right. Can I help, man? Start as always with a quiz. Remember, three couples can win up to a thousand pounds each. At the end of the quiz, the two couples with the most amount of money will go right through part two to see who hopefully will take home a good prize. Let's meet our first couple tonight. I mean, get my hair licked Michelle up. Michelle and Martin Walton from Cheadle in Cheshire. That's a lovely place. I was about to say that. I was just about to say a lovely part of the world. Must admit, thanks to sub. Either I'm feeling generous today or the leaded exhaust fumes in this studio have gone to my head, but take my... Thank you very much. Mr. Squiggy thinks it's sub. OK, Michelle. Sorry, Michelle, isn't it? That's right. Martin and Michelle. Yeah. Michelle, you're a working wife, are you? Well, housewife, if you well, can call that working. You can yeah. call that work, indeed. Well, oh, that's nice of Ted. Thank you. Thank you, Ted. Do you know what? You can call that working. Do you know what? That's a that's a form of work. We've got to give that. That nice man. But uh, when you did work, what did you used to do? Um, when I worked for a. Eh, hey, I'm sorry. You're just after saying that is working, and then you're saying, but when you did work, sorry, I thought we just established that it is work. You have betrayed. Your true feelings. Yeah. Michelle, yeah. Michelle, you're a working wife, are you? Well, housewife. You well, can call that work. That, you can yeah. call that work. You can call that work. Thank you. Indeed. Well, but uh, when you did work, what did you used to do? Oh. <laughs> ah, you can't. No, definitely. Definitely you can call that work. That's definite work. But when you did work, or joking aside, you know, you know, jokes aside, joking and niceties, Falseness aside, when you actually did something. Um, well, I worked for as a ground hostess at Manchester Airport. Really? For a short while, and then for a building society till I had Matthew, my little boy. Uh -huh. And now there's three, so I won't be working for a while. <laughs> <laughs> and what about you then, Martin? What's your occupation? Uh, painter and decorator. Because yeah, that's very popular. Everyone's doing a lot of painting and decorating. Even my mum had a go. She painted the door green the other day and then painted on it in white, wet paint. <laughs> <laughs> what chance have you got? <laughs> <laughs> what chance have you got? Do you know what I mean? What chance have you got? Let's hear that again. Everyone's doing a lot of... What about you then, Martin? What's your occupation? I, I've, it's really... Painting and decorating, it's really... Uh, it's really popular right now, isn't it? It's a bit quiet. Is it a bit quiet? Because I can turn it up. I can turn it right up. Uh, painter and decorator. I can turn it up to this. Because it is. Well, why'd you not fucking tell me? Very popular. Everyone's doing a lot of painting and decorating. Even my mum had a go. She painted the door green the other day and then painted on it in white wet paint. <laughs> <laughs> what chance have you got? What chance have you got? Have your questions, and with your questions, we have Fiona. What chance have you? F you don't got a fucking chance, don't you know? And you know, everybody, you don't got a fucking chance, don't you know? She painted uh, on more his more. Uh, painted the door green and then painted in white paint, wet paint. What fucking chance you got? You got any chance? You don't have, you don't have any chance at all. None. She painted the door green the other day and then painted on it in white, wet paint. <laughs> what chance have you got? Fucking zero chance. You're on to fucking plums. You're on to plums. Um, right, they cut nose. You're on, on to plums. It means there's no chance of that happening. Your head's full of the, 
for we men. <laughs> I don't know what it comes with. If you if you fucking think you're gonna be something, 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 you're on to plums. Anyway, let's get on and have your questions. And with your questions, we have Fiona Curzon. Fiona, lovely. Fiona. Oh, yeah. Any character comedy? Do we have any character comedy? So, Fiona, what what have you been up to this weekend? Oh, well, I met a guy and something, 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 and then and then she says something like pure daft, like I don't know what's going on with me, <laughs> and then out of character, you know, step out of character with a kind of smile and laugh, and away you go. Fiona, could you do a wee kind of sort of daft thing? Do that thing we ask you sort of do. What chance have you got? Do you know what I mean? What chance have you got? Eh? Fucking painted the door green, then painted in white wet paint. What chance have you fucking got, man? Okay. What? <laughs> he did that, he did that. He went, well, and then went, what's it? Nineteen eighty two. Kinda reminds me of the cowardly lion, that bit where he gets scared. I mean, obviously, he gets fucking scared at all. What the fuck is this? Cowardly Lion. Forest. No, 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 no. Maybe that? Cacophonics and door keys, Raskvad thinks it's subs. 13 months of your wet farts, what chance have I got? No chance. <sighs> Surprised he can even get up, you know, in, in the morning, get out of bed, having to put up with that. Uh, part of that kind of thing, uh, sort of um, occurrences uh, that, you know, that weighs more. And that she does things like that. You know, you got because you got no, you got fucking no chance. Curtis must admit thanks to subs. Uh, thanks again. Okay, would you like to select one of those three envelopes, please, mm -hmm. Michelle? Mm -hmm. Good. Thank thanks, you. Fiona. Now you know what happens. We'd like you to answer alternately. Mm -hmm. Two ways we can stop you if you make a mistake or run out of time. And if you don't don't know an answer, just say don't know because if you do have an answer, say an answer. I must accept the first one. So. You think about that, all right? Okay. Now, we let you have okay. one to start with, of course. Now, this question here for £10 for each correct answer is about the names of actors who have become famous for their association with films of horror and suspense. Oh, yes, 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 fucking Vincent Price, your Pierce Cushing, your fucking, uh, I don't know. I'm going to say Donald Pleasance by that point, but that's your, uh, who else is there? Fucking Bella Lugosi, um, um, Frankenstein was, uh, what's his fucking name? What's his name? What's his name? Boris Karloff, I, Peter Lorre, I, Ulysses, Raptor thinks the subs. Don't worry about the fucking streak. Cats thinks the sub. 16 months of banter, it's making me feel old now. Let's see if we can get up to 160 months of banter. We will give you the surname. We want you to give us the first name. Now, okay. the actor with the surname Lee. Uh, Christopher. Christopher. So that's the one we'll start you with. Lee and... Christopher. Price. Vincent. Don't know. Cushing. Peter. Karloff. Boris. Nice. Hitchcock. Alfred. Pleasant. Stop right there. Will we'll become famous for their association with films of horror and... Is it all right? Now, we let you have one to start with, of course. Now, this question here for £10 for each correct answer is about the names of actors who have become famous for... 
Alfred Hitchcock is not an actor. Uh, I, I is. Uh, he appears in like you know, like uh, in his films. That's not really an actor. That's a wee cameo in the back. He's not an actor, right? A director. Well, they were so to give us the first name. That's not an actor. Actor with the surname Lee has the first name of. Don't know. Cushing. Peter. Karloff. Boris. Hitchcock. Alfred. Pleasance. Donald. Donald. Laurie. Peter. Cheney. Lon. Dick. Lugosi. <laughs> Bella. Vite. Who? Don't know. Ah. Well, Vite, in fact, was Comrade Vite, who Terry Wogan is always singing his praises. Lugosi was Bella Lugosi. Com... Who? Comrade V... Conrad? I thought you said Comrad. I thought you said Comrad. I'm like, who the fuck is Comrad? I was expecting, you know, a guy like, you know, the kind of Soviet Conrad Veit. Oh, right, right. Oh, that person. I watched a bit of that film, but I didn't get around to watch the rest of it. This film is called... What's it called again? It's a guy who has some sort of horrible fucking operation as a kind of punishment when he's wee. And can he stop smiling? The man who laughs, can he stop smiling? And it's like a kind of tragedy. That's a cracker, aren't it? I think it is. Uh, that is where the uh, Joker comes through a bit. I mean, look at that. Look. Fucking brilliant. Look at that, man. I'm going to watch it. I'm going to fucking watch that right after this. And Laurie was Peter Laurie, and Price would have had Vincent or Dennis. So at the end of that, I think you've got six right, which is right. Dennis Price. pounds you've got. That's a nice start. Well done. Just going to leave that pen and bit of paper there. Don't touch it. A good start. 60 pounds. Roger and Diane Trevitt from Hunsworth, West Yorkshire. And I can see you've got a card there, haven't you, Diane? Yeah. Who's that from or for? It's from my little boy, Darren. He, he did he that of Dusty Bin and our yeah. show, yes? Yes. How old from is he? Darren and Gemma, actually, but he, he did the And is it to you? Wishing you both good yes, luck? That's oh, right. good. Okay, yeah. Darren, well, good luck. Let's hope. Oh, I like that. Look, he, he that way, if you're doing up with felt, felt tip pen, you go like that, oh, fuck, I have to do it one kind of rectangle at a time. And then you end up overlapping wee bits. And is it to you? Wishing you both good yes, luck? Oh, right. good. Okay, yeah. Darren, well, good luck. Let's hope they do well tonight. <laughs> nice. Well done. That's lovely, isn't it? Really nice. Like that. OK, then, Rog, what, what sort of business are you in? Well, I'm in the photographic industry. I'm an assistant to the regional manager with an international really? photographic company. Oh, assistant to the regional manager. Get you. Oh. Get you. It'd be nice if he said, I'm actually. I'm actually. I, Gareth, for the office. DJ, DJ Play. And Gintov, Segmat, thanks and subs. Merry Christmas. I was wondering about it, just drop it, sketch a lean bait and part of something you came up with, it's a, it's a separate idea I might have done regardless. But I was wondering about, just drop it, sketch. Is the lean bacon part something you came up with to suit it? Or was that a separate idea you might have done regardless? And decided to put the just drop it part over the top of right. I the the, the bit where I'm doing the lean bacon sketch and then then that happens for the for the first series. Um, uh, I think. I think I came up with the lean bacon thing, which is a kind of fucking old joke that, but I thought I did a spitting thing. Is that that I think that would have just been a sketch by itself. It wasn't like um 
I think I knew they'd just drop it, but was going to interrupt some sketch or something like that or freeze it, pause it. So it isn't, um, I didn't write that bacon one specifically for the, for that. Alfiscati thinks the bits. Can I get a classic Lumber Yeehaw in an English accent, please? Yeehaw. Caribou Kate, Poncho Lefty, thanks to subs, thank you very much. Big shout out to all the DBD crew. Out there, not enough panning. Honestly, I've been really having a good time dead by daylight, just tunnelling. Fucking amazing. Just tunnelling. Horrible bastard. He'd indeed thinks the sub. Well, Diane, you're, you're a working well, mum. Well, I'm a working mum, yeah. Yeah, how many children do you have? I have two. Two, I yes. see. Uh -huh. Find a girl. And what sort of... Um, well, I'm a working mum, yeah. Yeah, how many children do you have? I have two. Two. Um, two, I yes. see. Uh -huh. Diane, you're, you're a working mum. Well, mom. I'm a working mum, yeah. Yeah, Did how many children do you have? I have two. Two. Uh, two. What accent's that? Two. Is that kind of like uh, Blackpool? Blackpool sort of area. Two. Yorkshire. English. Right. Oh, I yes. see. Uh -huh. Find a girl. And what sort of hobbies do you have? Uh, keep fit. And I like pop music. And what well. pop? Uh, What's your hobby? I like pop music. Particular pop music uh, do you like? I like Abba's. Yellow. Mm -hmm. Any well, type of pop music. Yellow's good. Abba's yes. great. I love yeah. I mean, they're good middle of the road, but they always turn out good style. Yeah, we'll Chicka chance on me. Chicka chance on me. That isn't the fucking words, Ted. You kind of just say the name of the fucking song to every bit. Take a chance on me. 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 Hey, I fucking hate when cunts do that. Middle of the fucking road. Who? What you into, Ted? What you into? Mm -hmm. Any type. I'm into, the road. I'm, into, I'm into stuff, it's a wee bit off the beaten path. I'm into stuff, it's a wee bit off the beaten path. Don't want to talk about it here. Maybe, maybe later. Maybe the green room later I'll chat about it. I've just got to keep up a bit of image for the for the family programme, but I'm into some fucking some fucking dodgy, dodgy music. Really. Some of the lyrics are some of the subject matters a wee bit, it's a wee bit racy, a wee bit kind of, a wee bit saucy. Rafa the Tucker thinks the sub. I'm flashing the baby boys to as many folk as possible out there, absolutely. Africa by Total, Connor Payne thinks the subs. Right, I love. Yeah. I mean, they're good middle of the road, but they always turn out good style. Yeah, we'll Chicka chance on me. Chicka chance on me. <laughs> hey, the way. Nay, cunt reacting, Ted. Nay, cunt reacting. Good to have you here. Let's get on with the show and let's have your questions from Fiona. Thanks, Thank Fiona. Take one or two of those. Fiona, again? What you're going to have? Thank you very much. Same thing. We like. Right. What's going on here then? And some other episodes, it would be. A different person for a different for each each pair of would it? Right, so Libby Libby's taking care of uh right. Libby's taking care of the uh, I don't know, roaming about duties. Fiora's doing this. Alison Temple Savage will be doing what? Do you think Alison Temple Savage will come on for the second round? Uh, wait, wait a minute, where's the two fucking comedian cunts? They've binned them, haven't they? They've binned them. Or maybe, maybe they're there to act things out, but they're, need, they're not doing that stupid fucking... Oh, if you get a question wrong, we're going to go and watch them do a joke. You know, answer alternately, don't know, said don't know, and of course I must take the first answer you give me. This question is about names of actors and actresses who have become famous for their roles as lovers. We will give you the surname, we want you to give us the first name. Now the actor... 
the roles as lovers. The role as a lover. Who had the surname of Navarro. His first name was Raymond. So that's the one we'll start you with. Navarro. Ra Raymond. Sharif. Omar. Omar. Peck. Don't know. Gregory. Valentina. Rudolph. Irons. Don't know. Garbo. Greta. Greta. Granger. Robert. <laughs> ah, wasn't Robert. Yes, you got it, didn't you, Roger? One. It was Stuart or Farley we would have accepted. The other one you didn't know, uh, there was Peck, huh? Peck? Gregory Peck? Never heard of Gregory Peck. Still not a bad start. Oh, and Irons with Jeremy Irons, of course, but you got four, right? Jeremy fucking Irons and... Uh, uh, I was when I said Irons, I was gonna go I was gonna say Jeremy, but 80, 82? I mean suppose so. I suppose so. But what is he doing? What was he fucking doing? What was he doing eighty two? Uh the fuck is that? Is that? Uh, what is that? Is this like a... Is this like a, a child's play? Right. Jeremy Irons. Okay, Jeremy. What were you doing in 82? Enough to get you... To be mentioned on 3, 2, 1. Actor... Back, 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 back. What are you doing? Notable. So you're known as a lover. Right. So we're about 82. I mean, like, had the Brideshead, Brideshead revisited, perhaps. The French Lieutenant's Woman. Love for Lydia. Telly, 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 telly. Right. Jeremy Irons. Bride's head revisited. So, through a world of piety, I made my way to Sebastian. Right. Where is he? I mean, I'd see him there, but I mean... Do you go to church with you? Don't think so, why? Well, he's janky, was there? He could be fucking 40, he could be 18. Has he met any of your family? I was trying to find out how much truth there was in what he said last night. Very little, I should think. Says actual hair. Megan trailer, please. Shall we? Megan trailer. It's not going to be, um... Katie, you lost your parents. Welcome home. You're my niece. I'm going to do everything I can to make this place feel like home. Just wish I could see them again. I'm not equipped to handle this. I don't even take care of my own plants. <laughs> this project at work, do you want to see? Yes. Ever since I was little, I dreamed of this perfect toy that would protect a kid from ever feeling lonely or sad. This is Megan. Hi, Megan. I'm Katie. It's nice to meet you, Katie. Do you want to hang out? Okay. Megan, your goal is to protect Katie from harm, both physical and emotional. Is that a doll? Oh, what in a boot? Android. Megan, for short. I can't believe you made hey, this. Hold on. Regenerative. Android. Megan, for short. Who's she? Who's she? I recognise her. What was she in? Get out. Anything else? Get out. Right eye. Must be the eye. Must be I that. I can't then. believe you made this. I love it. Wanna hang out, yes. Girl's not seen it. Like 
hijab. It's nice to have. She looks like, uh, what's her name? Um, thingy Olsen. It's honestly like she's part of the family now. They could be building emotional connections that are too hard to untangle. She's the happiest she's been since her parents died. Eat the toppings, Katie. Research shows if you force a child to eat vegetables, they'll be less likely to choose those foods as adults. Is that so? Yes. Experts say... Megan, turn off. I thought we were having a conversation. Wait a, wait a minute. What? what? Oh! I didn't see that's coming. What? I actually cannot... What? 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 I actually got a mind it's in! Oh ho! Oh! Oh! Does she talk? Make her say something! Stop! Don't! Make it! You should probably run. Oh! <laughs> Megan, she pushed Brandon onto the road. I won't let anything harm you. Megan, turn off. Recalibrating response model. <laughs> Any point in watching the film? Oh. <laughs> What's wrong with you? Don't worry, Katie. <laughs> I won't let anything harm you. The film? Ever again. That's the film? This isn't it. That's not a fucking trailer, that's the... That's just like, I'm, I'm actually really busy, can I, can I just compress it into two and a half minutes for me, please? I, r I just don't have the time for this. Films for busy people. What kind of film digest? Point fucking watching it. It's standard shite. It's just standard. It's just standard. Standard fucking shite. Just nothing good anymore. I'll fucking push into it. From thinks it's up. And, and and if you and if you fucking dare to criticize it, you've got the fucking director on your case for about two fucking years. this what's this I got a kiss I'm in a I'm in an advert look is that shining is that shining right in the camera is that what that is I'm in a low contrast advert <coughs> <coughs> that's because it's shining directly into the oh look at that is it a lens flare? Where? Oh, there! Oh! My God! Look at that! I've not seen a lens flare like that, look! Let me see if it moves right. If I keep my... If I keep... Uh, if I put that, line that up there. Is that moving? The wee light blue one. Doesn't look like it. I mean, it must be JJ Abrams. Look at that. Here, I need to make a habit of this. This is a good, this is a good fucking thing to, 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 look at this. Look at this. Let's see what happens to, what's it like there? Don't get the full effect, obviously. This is like a cinematography fucking, I would, I would have thought I'd make the whole thing look kind of low contrast, like make the whole thing, that's very into, oh, there's, there's one up there, I didn't notice this. One up there as well. Look. Look at 
Look at that, would you? Amazing. Amazing. Makes the white actually put a light up there and recreate that. Can this, can you do a lens flare like this with, like, you know, a, a, a light? Or is it only with the sun? Is it only with the full kind of spectrum of light? Any light. Right. Any light, any light will give me this fucking red thing here and that blue thing here and that kind of get a panel LED. I've got them, got I've got that's what I'm using. Look at that. Look. Look at that. Wonderful. Wonderful stuff. Nice. Drum Club thinks a sub. Megan was scary as shite off to change my kegs. Ah, it's really, really scary that, wasn't it? Christ, I can't even want him. Pfft, I'm not going to see that. I'll be trying to pretend. I'm not scared of this. I need to go to the toilet. I bet when she goes down all, all fours, like, ooh! The dancing bit, I Because of the juxtaposition of dancing. But we like, holding a big machete. That's, how did they get these ideas to combine, to sort of put some kind of horrific way something or sort of nice, like with dancing, it's so... It's mad, it makes the, the violent stuff, the bad stuff, even more in, in relief, as you call it, you know, like, kind of stick it out of. Do you know what something they should do? They should do, like, a kind of war film and during some harrowing bit where people are getting blown up and all that. Date slow motion, but do, like, really peaceful sort of music, like, Adagio for strings, sort of. Or maybe a kind of gang fighting. And it's all violent, but it's kind of upbeat music, like you know, something like that. Kick a conspiracy. Thanks to sub. When was the last time you ended up liking something that you were convinced you were going to hate? Well, I didn't think I was going to hate Saint Maud, but I just had a feeling. It was just seen to beat the cover. It. I just thought Saint Maud is this some sort of the nun thing but it wasn't it wasn't what I thought it was going to be and uh, I really liked it that who fucking wreck it Lanky you still here recommending that fucking what's its name uh, what was it Climax I like to dancing at the start I like the dancing Choreography, 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 the dancing uh, arrangement. Um, but the rest, of it, and the spoilers. Thomas says, "Fucking great film, shut up." Um, it was just like that, right? So then things get worse, right? Things go bad, and then they sort of get worse. Then this thing happens, and 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 like, see that this bad thing happens and see that then that bad thing happens and then that 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 and then, that, and then that like all movies right you don't get it that's all right that, that this, you'll love that tommy like all movies oh it's you that actually said you like it I, yeah i can see why you like it it's just like imagine Like, see the film um, Wake and Fright, which I really like, right? It's quite 
sort of fucking minging, grubby and all the rest of it. It's this teacher in Australia who's all a bit kind of middle class and all the rest of it. And he's got to work in some, in the middle of nowhere school to pay off his debt to the government or whatever. It's like a kind of 70s thing. It's a, a thing, they'll train you to be a teacher, but then you've got to kind of work in certain places in order to, I don't know, pay it back or, or something like that. He's in the middle of fucking nowhere. And he's then trying to get, the, ready to get the train back at the end of the term or whatever, uh, back to Sydney or whatever, and misses it, misses the train. So he's got to stay overnight at a nearby um, place called, what's it called again? The the Yabba. Pure working class fucking cunts that are getting drunk and it's all like workers, you know, like, I don't know, working in a mine or fucking knows. But it's just a, it's no his sort of place. And gradually, and they are like kind of gambling, Dennis gambling sort of thing. He just gradually gets drawn mayor and mayor into that kind of thing. And and it's just deeper and deeper into all that and goes back to some house. And it's honestly like a fucking, to me, it feels like I kind of gone back to somebody's house after a night out, um, like a, a kind of be party sort of thing. And and it's it's kind of interesting. It goes it goes more into and and then there's like animal cruelty. There's actual fucking as a warning, actual fucking kangaroos uh, getting killed and things like that. Um, and the Australian I don't know Australian animal rights law, Australian uh, whoever they are said that they approved of it to uh, being filmed because. They wanted to show that people actually did this. Did they fucking drive out and into the, I don't know, outback or whatever, and they fucking run down kangaroos and fucking hunt them and just fucking shoot them for a laugh a lot of the times. And they, they and it was going to happen anyway, almost. And they were kind of like, film it, show everybody, go show them. Show them what they do. Kind of. But it's filmed within the, the thing, so it's... Uh, so it's uh, bad, actual bad things happen in it. Um, but I, I like it, the, the film as a whole, it's all fucking horrible. <clears throat> so, so see all that? That's, then this thing happens, and then that thing happens, and then it gets worse, and it gets worse. But you just get a, you get a fucking sense, as far as I'm concerned, you get a sense of this person who is all about kind of middle class and he thinks he's a wee bit above it all and above all these other people. He's just going, it's just sinking right into this uh, fucking barbaric way. And Whereas Climax just didn't seem, it, it just seemed a bit kind of, I just kind of lost interest. I was just like, right. And then there was bits that just went on for ages, just a shot of this and then camera goes about and I'm like, fucking care. I don't care. You know, there's nothing. I couldn't get. I couldn't get fucking right. I, I and it had like words popping up here, and you know, bits of it's upside down. I'd be like, this doesn't even. I don't. Is this? This is like it's made by a fucking bot. I sometimes get that feeling with certain things. It's just like pop these things in, right? Now pop some words in. To make it a bit kind of arty. Then pop in some music in so people go, really good soundtrack. A really good soundtrack. Did you know that that guy at Daft Punk, not the wee one, but the tall one, he actually did, you know, music by Daft Punk, but it's also music by. So oh, fuck. I don't mean to be all fucking money. I'm, I, you know what? You know the reason why I'm money because I fucking like films, because I care. Dick of Cosmos thanks to sub. This would be my final month of Prime sub because I can no longer justify paying Bezos. Please wish me a heartfelt farewell as I ungraciously fade into nothingness alongside the non subs. My name's been Dick. But you're the biggest dick here. Thank you very much. Remember there's coffee though. Thank you very much. Farewell.
But listen, cost of living crisis, right? You take care of yourself. Beneath the headphones, thanks to the bits. I'm a big fan of your here. That was the me sketch, the one with multiple lemmies. Leave it all. Oh, that one. Did you use a green screen bit for it? No, no, just um, just uh, masked around that bit. That was uh, Walter, I think. Or was it Walter? In the edit or the daddy that bit? I can't remember. It's just, it's just kind of layering it up. Layering it up and just cropping that, cropping everything out. So there's multiple. I mean, Road Castle Kick a Conspiracy. Thanks again. No, I didn't need a green screen for that. I just made sure that when I was walking out the toilet, um, I didn't do anything that would interfere with the other one of me behind, if you know what I mean. So that's 40 pounds. That's not bad at all. Well done. That's, good. that's pretty bad. You're out. And of course, couple number three, we've got Graham and Pauline Hutchinson from Langford, Bedfordshire. Body Langford. Too far from there. Langford, whereabouts is that near then, Graham? Um, uh, fairly near uh, Biggles Way. Biggles Way. And what do you do for a living? I'm an electronics test tech. Oh, Brian Cox. Mission. And what exactly do you do? We um, make controls which uh, work lathes. OK, Pauline, what about you? I oh, he went on a bit. They had to edit that out. He went on a bit. Listen. We um, make controls which uh, work lathes. Okay, Paul. Bang. They had to edit that. We make controls that work lathes. Um, lathes that are used in the manufacture of uh, metallic and wooden, wooden, wooden um, goods and uh, components. So... In case some of your viewers don't know, it spin. It's a bit like pottery, where you have it, it spins and then it cuts into the side, and the, due to the circular motion, it gives a symmetrical and three dimensions. Um, so, so if any of you folk watching at home were to open up, say, your washing machine, and there would be a circular kind of, um, in fact, forget about washing machine, your car. The uh, carpet, carburet, carpet, the, um, yeah, so we make those. But we, we make the controls for the lathes, the controls. So that would be speed up. Uh, we make the buttons that slow down. And we actually had a situation, um, you have to keep upgrading because it used to be plus and minus for speed up and slow down. But then uh, we created a new thing for the lathes that adds an extra switch on an extra lathe. So we're thinking how do we, what button should we use for the extra lathe if we've already got the plus button, which is speed. So we did up and down, but then we made another lathe that actually went up and down. So we had to change it again, you can see. And then that all got caught out. We um, make controls which uh, work lathes. Bang. Got cut it. And they're all laughing because Ted has just said, I all right, mate, we don't need your life story. Technician. And what exactly do you do? We um, make controls which uh, work lathes. Okay, Pauline, what about you? I see that uh, you do work, don't you? Yes, I do. Yes. Uh -huh, and what do you do? Oh, and you do work, don't you? Unlike, no point in any elbows. And you do walk, imagine he did a wee look. Imagine he did a wee look to the left. And you do walk, don't you? And you do walk. Is that right? You, I see that uh, you do work, don't you? Yes, I do. Yes. Uh -huh, what do you do? Oh, well done. What since the sub? My favourite Lemmy sketch is the improv where they won't let Craig into heaven because he's so hard. Any chance of a, a I like this kid, he's got, I like this kid, he's got balls. I don't even fucking remember that, honestly. I've got such a bad memory for the improv stories. It just, um, it's like as I'm coming out with them, they bypass my fucking memory. Poglock, thanks to the sub. I'm a sales clerk for a picture framing company. Uh -huh. Oh, good. And, and he says here also, you were a bit upset when you were house hunting because you didn't like, like how the, ha the estate agents advertised the house. Well Wait a fucking minute. Have we watched this? 
Because I remember him fucking something like this up this much. Well, they are sales clerk for a picture framing company. Uh -huh. Good. And, and he says here also you were a bit upset when you were house hunting because you didn't like, like how the, ha the estate agents advertised the house. <laughs> we fucking watch this one. Advertised the house with a patio, and when we actually went along there, and we actually bought the house in. I can't fucking remember that. I'm, I'm only watching that again. It was two slabs of concrete outside the back door. <laughs> oh shit! And we actually bought the house in the end. It was two slabs of concrete outside the back door. <laughs> Let's get your questions. Uh, wait, wait, wait! I've missed this. You were a bit upset when you were house hunting because you didn't like like how the ha the estate agents advertised the house. Why was that? Well, they advertised the house with a patio, and when we actually went along there, and we actually bought the house in the end, it was two slabs of concrete outside the back door. <laughs> Let's get your questions. We got Fiona once again with your questions. Thanks very much. No way. Good luck to you. <laughs> Let me three, two, one. Oh, it's fucking ten, ten years ago. Oh no, I was going to say ten years ago. No, that's that's the thing I'm watching. I thought I fucking streamed this ten years ago. That's the, that's the, that's the fucking video I'm watching. Fucking hell! That's not there, is it? No, no, it's Scotland. Uh, it's not that. <gasps> that's two years ago. That's the, that's the same time. This is. Uh -huh, what do you do? This is it. Picture framing company. Uh -huh, good. And, and he says here also you were a bit upset when you were house hunting because you didn't like like how the ha the estate agents advertised. Fuck me, Ted. It's written down, son. That's right. It's written down, and you will have rehearsed this. It's this. You were a bit upset when you were house hunting because you didn't like like how the ha the estate agents advertised Fuck. the house. Why was that? Well, they advertised. The you didn't like like how the different t shirt. What's for a fucking job, Ted? Where's your work? What's your job? Fucking hell! We've seen this! Please don't tell me this is your actual fucking job! Advertor also you- We've- What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? We've got to come out of this! We've got to- We've got to cut our losses! Country life. 1981. What about this one? Is that another one? Shake the hands of four people, Ted. One. Two. Ah, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Fucking hell! Oh! Right, right, I see, I see. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you, good evening and well. Oh, Jacob Reese Mug. Look. Welcome once again to the program, ladies and gentlemen. You know that the yellow pages tell you, tell you, of course, to let your fingers do the walking. With our show, I ask you to let your fingers do the talking. They just say three, two, one. It's very simple. Go and try it if you want. Three, two, one. Very simple. That's a lot of people. That's it, lad. Let's do it. Do it. Do it. Look, I can do it. Three, three. No, the other hand. The other hand. No. That's the one. Higher, 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 higher. We've not seen this one. We've not seen this one. Three, two, one. The walking with our show. I ask you to let your fingers do the talking. They just say. Right, three. T three. This is something that's slow. Three. One. One. It's talking with our show. I ask you to let your fingers do the talking. They just say three, two, one. It's well, he said, what chance have you got when he was talking about his more paint in the door? What chance have you got if that's him doing it slow? Very simple. Go and try it if you want. Three, two, one. 
Very simple. A lot of people. That's it, lad. Let's do it. Do it. Three. No, the other hand. The other hand. That's no. the one. Higher. 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 See, wait a second. See, see him up, up there, up, up the, the back, uh, to the right there. See him there. I'm fucking sure. Maybe the day program two programs in one day. I'm fucking sure I've seen that cunt. I mean, he looks like fucking any old guy there, mind you, but I'm sure he's. No, it's we not. Think no, it's wonderful, Bruce. All this business, the way you do it all. Oh, yeah, no, no, that, that is the wrong program. That's very there. kind. Wonderful. Thank you. Wrong program. I'm afraid. It was it's not you going to America, you know. And no, you, thought that was a good you idea. have got the wrong fellow. That what, that is that? another show higher. That's play your cards right. Oh, you know, I yeah. see. It's all a bit gone a bit strange now, are you? You see, not no. like you're on the television, all friendly and that. No, no. Oh, no. I see. That's it, Gladys. Come on now. You have the wrong man. We're going and see our hundred best hymns. Yes. Yeah, but. Just one sec, no, please. I tell you. Well, we get a few more laughs. <laughs> you look much better without the beard, Mr. Tarbuck. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. Right. You guessed it, ladies and gentlemen, Chris Emmett, Mike Newman. I thought it was Les Dawson and Roy Barraclough for a minute. However, they'll be back a bit later on because the theme of our program this week is country life. It's the country. When you think of the country, it's given us all those game birds like partridge, grouse, and pheasant, and of course the most famous game bird of them all, Lady Chatterley. Now, she's the one that we all like. I, I, I knew it. I knew it. You know, people who live in the city I knew don't realise this. They really go get a bit sort of winning. Uh, Lady Chatterley's lover, uh, Lady Chatterley. I've not, I don't know what it is, but it's a kind of um, sexy sort of novel f for its time or something. So she's game. Meaning she's up for it, and she's a bird. Means she's a woman. Get it? Famous game bird of them all, Lady Chatterley. Now she's one that we all like. <laughs> and you know, people who live in the city, if you realise this, they really go get a bit sort of. When it comes to animals, they don't really know what's going on. A little boy I know, he said to his. I I I don't. I think these links, if you want to call it that, could be worked on. Who is this cunt? It looks like Jacob Rees Mogg or. Um, Paul Hardcastle. I could be Paul Hardcastle. I was actually listening to Paul Hardcastle this, this morning. Paul Hardcastle. Look. Hold on, I'll show you. Look. Paul Hardcastle. That could be Paul Hardcastle. That's probably Paul Hardcastle there. Let's take a look. Definite. What's that? He said it's a cow. Oh, sorry, sorry. Famous I had a link, uh, I So, uh, the, the funny thing is, you know, people in the city uh, don't under, know much about the animal stuff and things like that. And so, for example, uh, case in point, I saw... There was a boy the other day who was asking about a uh, fox. Game bird of them all, Lady Chatterley. Now, she's the one that we all like. <laughs> and you know, people who live in the city, if you realise this, they really go get a bit, sort of, when it comes to animals, they don't really know what's going on. A little boy I know. That, yeah, that needs to be perfected, perfected. I mean, let, let's say the words he's saying there. They really go get that we all like. <laughs> And you know, people who live in the city... And you know, people who live in the city... If you realise this, they... Re if you realise this... I would... You know, if you realise this, you know, take that out. What do you mean? If you realise this, take take that out. Really, don't get a bit, sort of, when it comes to animals... They don't get a bit... You know, if they, you know, they don't get a bit if it comes to animals. They don't really get a bit of... You know, people who live in the city, if you realise this, they really don't get a bit, sort of... They don't really get a bit, you know, if you, if you realise this, they don't get a bit, you know, when it comes to animals, they, they don't... Understand to, when, when it comes to animals, they don't really. You fucking smiling a bit. You know what's going on. A little boy I know, he said to his dad, What's that? He said, It's a cow. He said, What's a cow? He said, Well, it's an early stage of a beef burger. <laughs> so, when you think, that could hurt, couldn't it? And I don't think. I don't think that's true. 
I don't think cows are used for burgers. When it comes to animals, a pig is a very useful animal. Think about the pig. I mean, we get everything. Pork, ham, bacon, and we have pigskin shoes and coats. And we also use its name to call people. <laughs> now and again, not all the time. But right now, will you please greet our three hosts? Fucking hell. And, and we also sometimes call a person a pig. <laughs> what chance have you got? What chance have you got? What chance have you got? I'm um, dang it, she's dang it, and she's what walking into each other, like bonk. What? What? Michael thinks the sub. I think a lot about when the helicopter followed you through the field when you're younger. Thanks for it. You're very welcome. I could actually. I think, guess where the the road was. Where that happened. I've actually looked up fucking uh, Google Maps. And the farm. The farm thing where we, we got out the fucking motor we knocked and just left the motor there running. Um, I looked in Google Maps to try and see where that was. The, the actual wee house. And I think on, it shows on a map there was a house at a certain place. But I don't know where the fuck it is. I mean, it's gone. It's like it's not there anymore. There's like this on, on the kind of satellite forties or the aerial forties. You see, um, like the like the remnants of a building, like the kind of patch of land as if something used to be there. Dee McGee thinks the sub. Any chance of a rerun of a classic stream on Christmas morning? Um, a little something to enjoy before the King's speech or in these standards. I wouldn't subject you to that. I wouldn't subject you to just a repeat. Webbit and Sly Size Sloth thinks it's something three quid. Please don't give a penny of this to Bobby. That cat is looked after enough. This is all yours. Thank you very much. You hear that, Bobby? Nigel Rayleigh thinks it's up. Karen Palmer. Oh, let's see that again. I'm Libby. This is Fiona. And this is Anna. We goofed. <laughs> what? We what? We goofed. This is We goofed. And here's the lady with the... Did Ted just say it again? again? Did he just say it again? And here's <laughs> again. And here's Did he just say it again? This guy who fucks it up constantly. The lady with the bluff bin, Karen Palmer with Dusty. He said, very good. Very good. And as always, Dusty and the girls are going to introduce the most important people on our programme, ladies and gentlemen, our contestants. The audience. Please. The viewers at home. <laughs> Scots, please. Scottish people. Please. From Littlehampton, Chris and Wendy Elliott. Fuck, see where man. A bit closer together, please. From Belfast, Brian. Belfast, yes! That's something. Something that is the England. Either is the England or is kind of like up north. with the quiz as always ladies and gentlemen our couples have two rounds of questioning first round they play for ten pounds each correct answer whatever they win at the end of the first round is the amount they play for each correct answer yep. at the second end of the quiz couple with the least amount of money leaves us then remaining couples let's play the elimination game to see which of them goes through to the big prizes let's see who our first couple are tonight bye Edith and Brian 
Which of them goes through to the big prizes? Let's see who our first... Bye. Bye. Play the elimination game to see which of them goes through to the big prizes. Let's see who our... Say your AI. Hey. Pull out tonight. And we've got Edith and Brian. And you're Edith and Brian Mulholland from Belfast, from Belfast, Northern Ireland. Lovely to have you with us. Now, listen, I mean, OK, everybody naturally assumes that when you hear Northern Ireland, Ireland, all the Irish jokes, how do you feel about everybody telling those Irish jokes? Fucking say... Oh! Oh! oh. Right, let, let me get comfy for this. First of all, I went to sweep my nose. Let me get comfy. Right. This is so loaded. This is 1981. This is 1981. That's just... How do you feel? Well, well, uh, we don't mind it because the Irish jokes that you hear are actually about the Republic of Ireland people there and we're not Irish, we're British and then a big round of applause in the studio. That's what could happen here. That's what could happen here. Anything could fucking happen here. See if he isn't offended. He's put his fucking... He's... Uh, he's uh, that's some sense. He's, he's flying up the mast. Or is he simply not offended? <sighs> I wouldn't be like if you're that, can I? I wouldn't be like, no, no. I would, I would just go like, can I, can I, can I, can I just stay here? Can I just stay here for like, just, in fact, no here, but I'll be. London? No, fuck that. Uh, gonna move me to Scotland or, no, fuck, no Scotland. Well, no Glasgow. Uh, fuck. Inverness, something. Help. Winnie, Gridlaw, Chill Sandwich thinks the subs. Fucking yes, some Northern Ireland representation. Just don't hold your breath here. Don't hold, don't hold your breath. A Bond Crime thinks the three quid. Ted is two years younger than you in this show. You look shite, but you could look shite at her. Thank you very much. Jerry Uranium. Thanks the sub. Really? 1981, he's two years younger than me here. Here we go. Well, generally, most English people tell Irish jokes because they're the only ones they can understand. <laughs> I don't quite get it, but... but it's, it's good. jokes because they're the only ones they can understand. <laughs> Fair enough, eh? <laughs> that's like, that's just, that's not even funny. That's just like, he's a fucking stupid bastards. That's just like fucking, he's a lot of daft cunts. Do what you want. He's a lot of daft fucking cunts. Absolutely right, although I've got to tell you, I was in a hotel in Dublin once and the fella knocked on my door. And aye, but, um, aye, but, uh, but I'm for Belfast. I'm for, Belf I'm for Belfast. So, I mean, what, so are you alright with this joke that I'm about to tell about Dublin? I'm about to make a joke about this fella from Dublin. Would you feel differently if it's Dublin for Belfast? Or have you got the same feeling 
towards both of these cities. I don't really want to go into it, Ted, if you don't mind. This is 1981. I don't really want to uh, go into any of that, mate. I don't really want to go into any of that. How no? I just don't want to talk about it. In the middle of the night, he says, Thomas, are you the gentleman who didn't want to be disturbed? <laughs> Help me a bit. No. And what's... <laughs> Help me a bit. That was about 50 frames. Help me a bit. No. And what sort of hobbies do you have, Brian? I collect stamps, and up until recently I was... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's funny that you make it the Irish to be daft and all that, but it's funny how you use the right evil bastards, isn't it? <laughs> That's kind of funny. The Scots are miserly. Uh, the Irish are daft and the English are evil, murdering bastards. Genocidal, uh, evil bastards. <laughs> That's funny, isn't it? Can I make a joke about that though, Kimpano? <laughs> Can I make a wee joke about that though? Because That's a bit serious though. Because you just really are cunts. You're only a joke. But... Right, come on, keep it light, everybody. Keep it light. Monster Riff thinks the sub. Man goes to work. Nice one. Keep it light. I Scottish had no part in it. Gotta keep it light. Gotta keep it light. I thought, get in quick before somebody goes like, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, but it was the British Empire. Scotland took a very big part in uh, the atrocities in, 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 in India. No, got to keep it light, please. Right? We're watching 3, 2, 1. Right, come on. Jamaica Street, yeah, 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 yeah. Are you the gentleman who didn't want to be disturbed? <laughs> Help me a bit. Sorry, what's that? Oh, oh, was that a guy from Northern Ireland that was working in uh, Dublin? No. And what sort of hobbies do you have, Brian? I collect stamps. And up until recently, I was involved with a church. I collect English heads. Ted. Collect stamps. Jerry Uranium. Chill sandwich. Thanks, thanks again. And up until recently, I was involved with a church as an organist. Really? I see. And Edith, what about you? I mean, you're married. Yes, obviously you're married to a lovely brother. Yeah. What, what? It's got, got a bit quiet, isn't it? Oh, okay, okay. It's great, okay. And uh, you? You there? I just... Okay. And you? You as well? You're married? Yes, of course you are. Of course you are. Silly question. Silly, silly question. Of course you are. Married, of course. I see. And Edith, what about you? I mean, you're married. Yes, obviously you're married to a lovely brother. Yeah. <laughs> what, what sort of a family? Do you have family? You don't have family yet? Do, are you yes. planning on that or are you just taking it as it comes? As it comes. Why not? Just as and it what, comes. what do you do? Uh, I'm a teacher. I teach home economics uh -huh. in secondary school. I see. And what sort of hobbies do you have? Well, I'd like to travel a lot. Have you travelled a great deal so far? A or little you, bit. You're yeah. still yeah. hoping. Yeah. Where would you like to go more than anywhere? We've been to Italy recently and we very much enjoyed that. And where did you go? Venice was a beautiful city. You love Venice? Yes. yes. It's a great, it is a great city, Venice, of course. You know. You've been, you've been, Ted? You've been? 
Everybody? Everybody? Audience? Did you hear that? Audience? The only place where you get... It's a beautiful city. You love Venice? Yes. yes it's a great, it is a great city, Venice, of course, you know. It's the only place where you get the road maintenance cost and your water rates, you know. <laughs> Poor Ted. Poor Ted. As he's doing the lines, he has to use his horn. See his horn? All right. Of course, you know. It's the only place where you get the road maintenance cost and your water rates, you know. <laughs> you know, like, it's almost like he's fucking rapping or something like that. He has to, he has to sort of, you know, like, it, it, it helps. Go like that. It's the only place where you get the road maintenance thing and the water rates. Like that, 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 go to, and then that, 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 right. It's the only place. All right, let's get on and have your questions. That's scripted. Your questions, we have Alison and Nipple, when you come on, we're going to ask you is, have you got any kind of hobbies and things like that? Just, you know, just for the audience to hear and the viewers. Ted then gets past that information. He passes that on to his writing team. Temple Savage! As I live and breathe! Well, Ed. Oh yes, character comedy. Character comedy. And, uh, how are you? You okay? Well, Edward, I'm in a very bad mood. Why, what's wrong? Well, last night I broke a 21-piece tea service, mm. and what's more, I missed him every time. <laughs> He's that sort of fella. Would you like to choose your envelope? Missed him every time. Last night I broke a 21-piece tea service, mm. and what's more, I missed him every time. <laughs> He's that sort of fella. Like she was throwing cups and saucers at some guy. Um. Edward, is it, that's, that's what uh, Did she... Oh, what's wrong? Yeah. How are you? You okay? Well, Edward, I'm in a bit... Did she say Edward? Ted is Edward. Ted is Edward. Where's Theodore? Where's Theodore? Teddy. That's a strange one, that. That's a strange one, that. Edward and Ted. Richard, Dick. Robert, Bob, or Bobby. William, Bill, Billy. It's, a fu it's funny, that, isn't it? I'm going to... You know what? I'm getting, I'm getting back into stand-up. That's my new friend show. What do I... I'll be able to book that for... August, yeah, yeah. Because I've got, I mean, I've, how's it going, everybody? My, so my name's Lemmy. In case you don't know me, my name's Lemmy. That's my nickname. My, my real name's Brian Lemond. Lemond. Lemmy. I've got, I've got nicknames. You can see where that comes from. But don't we all have these other kind of nicknames? They're not really nicknames. It's like these other versions of our names. For example, Robert. Somebody called Robert. Robert De Niro. Sometimes you hear these other actors going, "Oh, Bobby. I was walking with Bobby. With Bobby." What's that about? Robert, Bobby. You can sort of see how that could happen. Bob, Robert, Rob, Bob, 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 Bob. <laughs> But Richard and Dick. Dick. Has anybody noticed that the name Dick? It's like you're calling the guy a dick. Laugh! You were told to laugh! Church Goblin, Freddy Freaker, Wild Goose, thanks to subs. Why did Light Entertainment die out? This is twice as good as the shite on now. Well, you realise how lucky you were to grow up in the golden age of TV entertainment. You still got stuff, all, all the quizzes are Light Entertainment. Um, you have all the kind of Ant and Deck sort of shite. Um... Strictly come dancing, kinder. Aye, the wheel and all that pish. 
Never watched that fucking shite. That we w I've watched enough of it to know that I, I don't like it. Very bad mood. Why, what's wrong? Well, last night I broke a 21-piece tea service. Mm. And what's more, I missed him every time. <laughs> <laughs> He's that sort of fellow. Do you know why Alison's timing was just maybe just a wee bit fucked up? Because she kept hearing Ted go on, eh, 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 fucking Gordon Ramsay, you little fucking, eh, 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 You just hear him like that, eh? Listen. Well, last night I broke a 21 piece tea service, and what Shh. more, I missed him every time. <laughs> He's that sort of fellow. Would you like to choose your envelope? Thanks, thanks for adding to the joke there, Ted. He's that sort of fella. Thank you. Thank you very much. Your questions. Thanks a lot, Alison. Now, you know, we like you to answer alternately. Always lay this first, Edith. And, of course, there's two ways you can be stopped if you give us a wrong answer or if you run out of time. Huh? Huh? And if you don't know an answer, please just say don't know and we'll go on to your partner with the next question. And, of course, we do always let you have one to start. Now, this question is about animals and names given to the male and female of each. We will give you the name of the male, and we want you to give us the female equivalent. 81. Ted Rogers. 1935. So he was 46. Yep, two years younger than me. Now we'll start you with Peacock and Peahen. So it's Peacock and... Peahen. Ram. Sheep. I'm sorry there, you said... The and... Bang! Uh, sheep, in fact, ram, we wanted you, which is the female equivalent. So you only have the one we let you have to start with. Fucking with stitched up. So you just have ten pounds. Here we are. Fucking stitched up. Absolutely fucking stitched up. Totally fucking stitched up there. He knows it, he knows it, he knows it, he knows it. Here we are. Oh, he's no fucking happy. Which was a peacock pea hen, so you just have ten pounds. Here we are. Oh, he's no fucking happy. Oh, my. Oh, my. You're from Little which is the sheep, cock and pea hen. So it's peacock and ram. Sheep. I'm sorry there, you said uh, sheep, in fact, ram, we wanted you, which is the female equivalent. So you only have... Fucking one stitched up. ...was uh, peacock pea hen, so you... Fucking stitched up. Here we are. Thank you. So you You've got ages to go yet. What's one okay. where... Yeah, they're, they're likely to kind of fuck up. You know, they're likely to sort of fuck up. Here we go. Gain that to them, right? Give that to them because I want to crack some Irish joke, jokes later. Chris and Wendy, you're from Little Hampton in Sussex, yes? Right, yes. I see. And what about you, Chris? What, what, what do you do? I work for the post office, now British Telecom, looking after our tele... Check this, man. Now, this is a look. Phone service. Oh, I see. And uh, what was it going to be? They keep telling us the phone service is going to sort of really come up to date one day. Is it oh, going to happen? We're improving it fantastically, yes. Yes. yes you'll get your wrong numbers twice as fast now. <laughs> <laughs> ha ha! Oh, oh, are we at it there? Get your wrong numbers twice as fast now. <laughs> <laughs> Bang! He just stole Ted's fucking joke. <laughs> okay, Wendy, what about you? What do you do? Well, I'm just at home with the children. I, I don't see. work. And how many children do you have? Two. Stephen's Two? 12 and Susan's 10. I see. Uh -huh. And uh, have you, what do you do for your hobbies? Well, I like writing mm -hmm. and I like cooking. Uh-huh. And, and, um, what sort of writing? Is that letters or what? No, writing novels. Just at... I'm just at home. I'm just at home. I got my family. And then everything. He goes away. That's his job. Sits in office. Things like that. Has a giggle. And comes back. Ah. Huh? The everything. That's all I do. Hold on. Uh -huh. I'm nothing me. I don't even know why I'm here. Um, what sort of writing? Is that letters or what? No, writing novels and oh, novel. stories. Have you written these so far? Uh, four. Yes. Really? And 
one or two short stories mm -hmm. in place, but... Have you had any accepted? No, no. Not yet, but you're hoping. Are you on one at the moment or what? Yes, yes. Fuck it! Written four novels, not being published. Get them published. Write letters? I write, I write letters. I like fucking novels, Ted. You are. And um, what's that all about? Well, it's a uh, historical romance. Oh, really? Mm. There you go. Called Misery. Chris, where did you get that from, I wonder? OK, <laughs> let's have your questions and it's... Fiona Curzon. What? With what do you mean? OK, Chris, where did you get that from, I wonder? OK. Oh, 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 oh. Historical romance. Where did she get that from, I wonder, eh? You must be doing something right, big man. You must be doing something right. What's it mean? Uh, yeah, that's not to do with me, but... Uh, 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 uh. Uh. Questions, and it's Fiona Curzon with a question. Fiona. Character comedy. And what sort of week have you had? Oh, I've been decorating my bedroom. Mm-hmm. I gave it a medal for good behaviour. <laughs> it's that kind of room, ladies and gentlemen. Fucking <laughs> <laughs> what? what? Yeah. Oh, I've been decorating my bedroom. Mm -hmm. I gave it a medal for good behaviour. <laughs> it's that kind of room, ladies and gentlemen. It's that kind of room. And then with the last one, he's that kind of guy. Wait, so... Wait. I gave and what sort of week have you had? Oh, I've been decorating my bedroom. I've been decorating my bedroom. I gave the medal for good behaviour. <laughs> I gave the medal for good behaviour. Oh, military decoration. Right, I gave a medal. For, I gave a medal. I gave a medal for good behaviour. I've been decorating my bedroom. Mm -hmm. right. I gave the medal for good behaviour. <laughs> it's that kind of room. Right. Right, so what she she gave did she give a man did she give a man a medal for good behaviour or did she get to the fucking room she gave the room a medal for good behaviour No, I don't need these things to be all concrete in my mind and see a medal attached to a wall. I can think ab in abstract terms, everybody. I'm a professional comedian. But the room, the room itself got a medal in this funny joke for good behaviour. And then she does that, you know, as if it's a, a kind of sexy sort of, oh, you know, there's a shudder. The, the room itself has behaved well. The room itself. I mean, what I'm confused about is she's doing a kind of sexy sort of thing like that. So, um, is it, so good behaviour? Is she been well behaved? Is the guy been well behaved? But what's that got to do with the fucking room? Why are you confused, says Lilac Studio. Okay, let's put it to the test. Lilac Studio. Okay, okay. Right. Please, Lilac Studio, explain in kind of short terms each time. Um, can you explain that to me? I gave the medal for good behaviour. What has been well behaved? What has been well behaved? You said, what do you know understand or something like that? Can you explain it then? Because I'm so fucking stupid. Okay. See? 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 Is that kind of room? So the last person when Alison Temple Savage said that she was chucking the 31 piece fucking cutlery service thing and missed the guy. He's that kind of guy. And now he's like, is that kind of room? She gave the room a medal. She said this. How do you gee? I gave the medal for good behaviour. <laughs> it's that kind of room, ladies and gentlemen. How do you get a room 
a medal or any kind of... That's the joke. I believe that's the joke. Right, you're not getting what I'm saying. You're not getting what I'm saying. Right. I know that you can't give a room a medal. Right, I know that. Right, I know that. But what's the kind of... What's the kind of insinuation? What's the kind of no insinuation? What's the kind? Of, what's the kind of insinuation? Or what's the? How has the room been the vessel for sexual activity? And so it gets a medal. Oh, a lot of people are saying yes, and other people go like, no. What do you mean? Is it because, oh, well done on being a good bedroom because I've, it's been, you've been really well behaved. Uh, you've not leaked. The, it's not been, you've no, the roof has not fallen on my head whilst I'm having sex in this room. What does it mean? It facilitated her sex life. Is that it? Is that it? Fucking Disney makes sense. Well done. You're very well behaved. You facilitated my sex life with no... Uh, uh, no disruptions and things like that. Plaster didn't come off. Um, I was an instant... The, the radiator didn't just start like bust. I gave it a med And what sort of week have you had? Oh, I've been decorating my bedroom. Mm -hmm. I gave bedroom, bedroom, bedroom. I gave it a medal for good behaviour. <laughs> it's that kind of room, ladies and gentlemen. Uh -huh. and, what, and what kind of room is that there, Ted? What kind of room would that be there, Ted? Thanks, you, thanks for clarifying, by the because I didn't quite get it. What kind of room... A sex room, so the, the room deserves a kind of medal. It's a sex room, right. I mean, imagine actually trying to repeat these jokes to somebody. Imagine somebody watching us and going, that's a good one. Um, and then you're at a, a, a party in 1981 and somebody says, I just sort of decorate, did a bit of decorating. There we better decorating. Decorating, you say? Decorating, you say? Decorating? Aye. Well, I decorated my bedroom recently. Oh, did you? I am doing my bed. Wait, 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 wait. I decorated my bedroom recently. I got a medal for good behaviour. I, I got a medal for my good... It's good behaviour. It's good behaviour. It got a medal for its good behaviour. It got, it, it, it got a medal. Fucked it. Oh, you just don't get it. You are so fucking daft. I am fucking pretending to be somebody fucking up! I'm saying it, it, me, I, I, it, it, uh, me, it, d, d. Oh, uh, you fucked it up well, because I'm fucking acting! A snuggler, a Sir Chuggity. I'll give you a medal for good behaviour. Thank you very much. Trial thinks a sub. Keep an eye out for one of your books and keeping an eye out for one of your books, but they're not in any shops in my country. What's the best place to order? Biggest cut. I oh, don't, don't think about cuts and all that. Just fucking, um, I don't know, one of these online book places. Or you can get, I don't know, online. Oh, remember, there's the, the audio book. You can get it with, with a free trial on Audible. Then you get a free trial on Audible and then just cancel the thing. I think, read by me, gave a gondola. Thanks for the bits. Forget Wasp in the car part. There's no exhaust fumes in the studio part. I think that's maybe why this, what this is all about. The writers and maybe they write the jokes, run the back. You know, and the writers bit is run about where they keep the motor. 
Just get a bottle of wee test. Aye, just rehearse. Be rehearsal. This isn't disturbing your writing, is it? No, 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 no. Right, just try and drive it forward a bit there, John. While they're writing this fucking shite. Decorating, 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 decorating the room, decorating the room, decorate, decorate. You decorate, um, you know, you get a, a sergeant or a colonel or something like that, decorated and got the medals. How about decorated the room? For what though? What, what, for, as if you're decorating like a medal. But what for? Like, like a bedroom. I always try and think sex, 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 sex. Like a bedroom for good behaviour. How is the bedroom well behaved? Well, it's what goes on in it, do you know what I mean? Oh, I right enough. Oh, I didn't get you there for a minute, but now I get it. I write that, right, right, I don't know, hell, I'm tired. I'm hell, I'm tired. Here, I love it. I love the smell of fucking exhaust fumes. See me, I used to stand behind the fucking um, ice cream van when I was wee, breathing the fucking exhaust fumes. And that was back in leaded days. And I thought, that's maybe why I can't fucking think straight. But, no. No. Honestly, I thought, is that why I'm like this? Is that why I'm like that? But see, Daniel, Daniel, he's not fucking carbon copy me. But see the way that Daniel sometimes really doesn't grasp. Like, see when he's trying to learn uh, the um, how to tell the time. There was something he pure wasn't grasping. He knows it now. He just wasn't grasping it. He knew times tables and all these other things, but he just wasn't grasping it. I tried various ways, and I'm like, I think he is like me in the. I'm like, what do, you, what do you mean? What do you mean? Because, he, you know, you can't get into somebody's fucking mind and know, like, you have to, like, if you've got a win, you might have to go like that. How did you arrive at that answer? Instead of just going, like, no, 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 what's that? How, so what, what made you think that that plus that is that when I know that you know that that plus that is that? And then you talk it through and you find that there's something, there's something there, there's just a kind of, a, a confusion. I mean, see if you think about the fucking time, 12, I, right, so you get to 12 and then, the, then, then you start at 1 again. You might be like, oh, right, so 12 becomes 1. 12 becomes 1. Ron, it goes... You know, it's like just the wording, how you word things and all the rest of it. I had to teach my ex how to read an analogue clock at the ripe age of 21. They're bad fucking things. They're bad things. Now, Daniel's good with, with, with numbers and all the rest of it. It was just that fucking thing. Right, so there's 24 hours in a day. You know, I had to sort of go like that, right? See that clock there? See that clock? Forget it. Forget it. But he just, there was something he just wasn't grasping. And it's the same with a few other wee things, learning something, other things. Once he gets it, right. Just like me, once he gets it, right. But until then, I'm like, depending on what it is. What? How are you not getting it? I don't know. I don't, I don't know. Right, you know how you got that? Uh-huh. Right, and how you got that? Uh huh. Well, that with that is that. Right. And I think that and that is that for my reasons. I don't get it, but if that's what I'm getting told, all right. And then I get another question and I apply that same faulty logic to that and I end up hitting it with. What's five plus six? Oh, uh, 32. What? Well, hi, how's it no? How's it no? Well, do you think the sub?
went to a live comedy gig that was genuinely as hostile as your support live comedy bit. Support live comedy, that's no... That's no hostile. Do you mean the fucking laugh? Laugh! Crowned in pesto Fahrenheit, Ian Walsh. Thanks for subs and three quid. Did you know if you Google best comedy audiobooks, yours is the first book to be shown in the first link? It's probably because you've already searched for it. That's my, that's my guess. Mr. G-Cube and Snuggler. Thanks for the subs. Roscoe VB. Shaven Wolf. Diver. Gorilla Ratio. Thanks for the subs. Get well soon, Natalie. Wants you to tie, wants to tie you to your bed and break your ankles, all right, or, or cut the feet off it like it is in the book. Choose your envelope, would you? Choose your envelope. Which one? That's it, she can't make up her mind. Okay, she's got... <sighs> Ted, get a fucking rest, would you? Get a rest, Ted. Would you choose your Which one? That's it. She can't make up her mind. Okay, she's nah, she can't make up her mind. She can't make up her mind. I'm not going to talk to her directly and say, oh, you can't make up your mind. Uh. I'm going to talk to you about her. <laughs> she can't make up her mind. Uh. Hey, my man. Hey, my man. She can't make up her mind. Uh. Must start take it takes it. Uh, yeah. Is yours like mine? Takes about three hours to get fucking, I know. I know. Do you think I should have my hair up? Or down? Doesn't matter what you say, it's got to be another one. Am I right, my man? Am I right? Yeah, let's fancy a wee pint later. After this, aye. Aye. Get us, get us at the, the stage door. Go for a wee pint. You have to you. Now then, this question is about animals and their young. We will give you the name of an animal, bird or fish, and we want you to give us the name of its young. And we'll start you with horse and foal. So it's horse and foal. Cow. Oh. Lion. Cow. Goose. Don't know. Swan. Secret. Goat. Don't know. Teal. Don't know. Sheep. Lamb. Eagle. Don't know. Eel. Elk. Elit. Right, there we are. So at the end of that lot there, eagle, you said you didn't know that was an eaglet. Seal was a pup. Goat, kid, and goose was gosling. So therefore, what have we got there? We have for five, is it? Is it a 50 pounds or it's 60? It's six you've got, 60 pounds. Well done. Why was all this fucking... I don't know what, what the lights are. Why were they always green? And things. They're always fucking green. I just always saw these things as green. I don't, th I don't think it's just... I don't mean... You know, like, um, alarm clocks and things like that, they're always green. Is it today we... Did it actually, by default, is it by default green? I mean, they don't put, like, a green sort of film there, do they? Because they've decided green's the best sort of colour for the eyes. So that's like the actual material. The element is green. Hmm. Hmm. Green is the cheapest colour. Because it's like eye, because there's like so much grass and things like that. It's easy to get a hold of grass and because if grass is everywhere, you could just shove that in and make it green. Darian, Rabbit City, Puzzle Guy, Tiny Dish, Jobless Todd, thanks for subs. Marcello or Marcello, he's a good boy. Okay. Our third couple, David and Sue from South... So, are we going to get Libby here then? Do my bit of character comedy. Southport, eh? I see. And what do you do exactly then, David? I teach in a special hospital. Uh-huh. You're from Southport, so uh, what do you do for hobbies? Uh, well... We have an old house which is in the middle of being uh, done up. That's my main hobby at the moment. Really? Oh, you're one of those DIY men, are you? Yes. Lovely. No, I see not he... a very good one, unfortunately. Honestly, well, you're like me. I'm, I'm dreadful anyway. But you... Uh, uh, a joke, Ted? You like football, it says here. Oh, yes. No. Well, all sports. Yeah. Uh -huh. Who's your team? Liverpool. I should ask. Liverpool, 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 of course. 
All right, Sue, you also work in a hospital, too, yes, right? Yes, but I uh, with old people. Old folk, yes. I see. That's very commendable, of course. And what sort of uh, hobbies do you have? Home brewing. Home brewing? Beer. Get wine. in. You got a wee joke here, Ted? I used to have a, a home brew uh, uh, thing, a home brew thing, and, and uh, um, um, uh, the wife uh, said, uh, God, you should go out and just go to the pub. You're doing my nothing. <laughs> Everybody like that. And, and how long have you been doing that? Oh, about a couple of years. Uh -huh. yes. and on and off. You what know, do you mean on and off? Well, whenever I have the time, and if I have a few accidents, I sort of give it up for a bit. What sort of accidents do you have well, when you're brewing? I was brewing some uh, ginger beer, and we were sitting in another room, and the bottles were stored in the pantry, and we heard a terrific crash. All the windows rattled, ran into the kitchen, and three bottles had exploded. There was ginger <laughs> beer and glass everywhere. Well, I've heard of having a drink on the house, never round it like that. <laughs> All right, let's have your questions, and it's Libby Roberts with your... Here, Ted, here, now, wait, I don't... ...floated, there was ginger beer and glass everywhere. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, here. Heard of having a drink on the house, never round it like that. <laughs> all right, let's have your questions, and it's Libby Roberts... Yeah, come on up, it's all right. Yeah, wait a minute. Further about having a, you know, a drink on the house, but no, I, I run it, you know. I'm sorry, right, here, was, come on. Get, let, the, let the audience, give them a bit of time to get that one. It was 1981. He's ahead of his time. You know what I mean, folks? A drink on the house. But no, like, I run it. Well, I, I know. When I say I run it, I don't mean, like, uh, on the outside of it. It's a run. Right, right. Now it's the side of the house. Now it's on the back of the house. Now it's the side of the house. Now it's the front of the house. I mean, you know, I run the, as in, you know, up the was and things like that. Around, oh, fuck, it's around this room. Um, anyway, so it's that, it's that kind of, it's that kind of room, house, it's that kind of brew, brewing, home brew, everybody. Everybody, place your bets. Libby's going to come on. We're going to get some character comedy. Well, there's no actually going to be a bet here. Will Ted say, like he's done with the past two people who have came on, first time he said, <laughs> yeah, he's that he's that kind of man talking about who she chopped to thing it it's that kind of room talking about her bedroom for the second person will we get her it's that kind of third time in a row here we go that's with your questions character comedy please I hear you're having trouble with your landlord about your room. It's supposed to be cold or freezing or something. Cold? It really is freezing. Whenever you open the door, the little light comes on. <laughs> That's where she lives. <laughs> That's where you live. Let's have the question. Thank you, Libby. It's that Libby, kind of room. For you, for ten pounds. Whenever you open the door, the little light comes on. <laughs> That's where she lives. <laughs> That's where you live. That's where she lives. That's where you live. That's where she lives. That's where you live. You just dox yourself, Libby. Open the door, the little light comes on. That's where she lives. That's where she lives. <laughs> That's where you live. That's where you live. Ted, we don't need it. Ted, we don't need your input. Ah, so so that's where you live. That's where she lives. Aha. You live in the uh the fridge. Aha. Aha! Thank you, Libby. Okay, let's see what we have for you. Ah, so that's where, you that's where you live. That's where she lives. You don't know the answer. Which is where Ted? Where does she live? In the the fridge. This question is about fi uh, names of fish. Uh, we will oh, give you the first oh, part of the oh, name of uh, oh, fish oh, or shell. Fish. Uh, oh, 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 oh. Don't forget, they don't know if you don't know the answer. This question is about uh, names of hey. fish. Oh. We will give you the first part of the name oh, hey. oh, 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 fish hey. or shellfish, and we want you to finish the name. Now, a poor beagle is a shark, so we'll start you with that. Poor beagle is a shark. Rainbow. Trout. Finnan. Haddock. Whitstable. Don't know. Conger. Eel. Dublin Bay. Don't know. Skipjack. Don't know. Dover. 
So, rock? Salmon. John? Don't know. Ah, there we are. Well, John, I didn't know. A fucking John, uh, 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 that John Dory, apparently. John, I was going to say John Dory. You see, you got to watch, though. I was about to say John Dory. But what if I said John Dory? You're like, ah, what? The fucking porn star? You don't know sometimes if you're going to say, ah, there isn't a porn star called John Dory. But you don't know if you're going to blurt out the name of a fucking porn star. He said John. I was about to go, ah, Dory. Right? I was about to go, Dory, because I'm like, oh, John Dory, is that not that type of fish? What if that, that, no, 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 the reason why that name came to your mind is because there's a porn star called John Dory. There is isn't, by the way. There is isn't. But, you know, that's happened, that's nearly happened a few times where a name, I'm like, um, thingy, and I've like, came out with a fucking name, it's a porn star fucking name. Like, who? What? Who? Who's that? Oh, eh, uh, nothing. Oh, I'll go and look it up and see. No, no, don't! Stuman thinks they're the bits. Currently touring North, North Scotland. Spent the night in Johnny Groats camping in the car. Cold, cold, cold. Henty done, done this. Now, enjoying the stream as usual. Enjoy our beautiful lovely uh, country. Amy thinks it's sub. You're very welcome. Number Red thinks it's sub. Saw an ad and noticed my sub run out. Here's my premier. Thank you very much. Cosy, were these shows as weird to you watching them at the day, in the day? Um, I didn't know what the fuck was going on back then when I, when I watched these ones. Darian and Rabbit City. Puzzled guy. Tiny Jish. Thanks to subs. Thanks again. Uh, I didn't know what was going on, really. I just knew there's was dusty bin. Couldn't tell you what, what was going on. That's right, everybody. Um, uh, Amazon Prime, etc. Devin Crazy likes things to the sub. Apparently, the Skipjack's tuna. Now you can remember that. We all eat that one. Dublin Bay prawns we have. And which... Uh, John Dory? Got John what? John Dory? Is that no type of fish? I've not heard of that. I don't look up. Oh, no, don't, don't, don't. What is it? No, don't. It is, it is, it is the theater fish. Don't, 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 don't. Look it up. Look it up on the telly. You can look up on the telly. The audio's a bit quiet. Is this quiet, everybody? There, I think that's right. And it's 60 pounds you have. Yes. Right. Good. Go. At the end of the first round, we've got couple number one, Edith and Brian on 10 pounds, on. but Wendy and Chris are tying at the moment with Sue and David, both on 60 pounds. Tell me how this sounds. Well done. OK, Edith and Brian, let's see what we're going to do for you. If we get a maximum this time, we wouldn't be How's bad, this? would we? Choose your envelope again, would you? Okay. Thank you, Alison. Thank you. All right, this time you're going for 10 Too pounds loud. for each correct I answer. Let's slightly. see what we have for you. This question is about the varieties of fruit. We will give you the name of a variety and we yes. want you to say what kind of fruit it is. Right. Now we'll start you with Maling Promise, which is a type of raspberry. It's Maling... They only got a fucking tenner. They only got a tenner. That means see if they get the maximum, like, ten questions. That's the fucking hundred quid. That's it. In fact... Uh, it's 110 will be including it. Promise and Raspberry. They're it. Cox's Orange. Apple. Victoria. Plum. Morello. Don't know. Royal Sovereign. Don't know. Muscat. Grape. Conference. Pear. Seville. Orange. Honeydew. Melon. Mo money Maker. They're fucking trying to get them fucking killed. Trying to get him to say orange. Money maker. Plum. Ah, no, it's not. Money maker was a tomato. Would you believe? Again, I didn't know that one either. Royal salt. They're going to try and get this clip to a context. Sovereign was strawberry. Morello was cherry. But what have you got there? Three, six, seven, I think. So yes, it's seventy pounds. That's what you've got. No bad. No bad. Right. No bad. There you go. Not so bad. 
They've had to sit there that whole time listening to this other lot. Nice Fiona, would you like to choose your envelope, please, Chris? 70 fucking quid. We are. You're going for 60 pounds for each correct answer. They've got 60 quid just to start off with. What do we have for you? They're then going to get multiples of 60. Of vegetable. We will give you the name of a variety and we want you to say what kind of vegetable it is. Now we'll start you with early snowball, which is a type of turnip. So it's early snowball. Hey, turn up. Savoy. Cabbage. Webb's Wonder. Lettuce. King Edward. Potato. Mange 2. Uh, I don't know. Scarlet Runner. Bean. Scarlet Globe. Don't know. Calabrese. Don't know. Jerusalem. Artichoke. Golden Sun. Was it? Was it? Was it? No. Jerusalem. Artichoke. How do you know that? How do you know that? Golden Self Blanching. Don't know. Well, there we are. Out of time. Golden Self Blanching was celery. Calabrese was broccoli. Scarlet Globe was radish. Mange two is pea. I only had that for my first time a couple of weeks ago with its uh, skin on, you know. However, what do we got at the end? Oh, I... there we've got four, six, I think. Yes, you've got three hundred and sixty. Oh, the Belfast couple being utterly fucking stitched up. They're practically given the uh, equivalent of, uh, um, or, uh, or something like boast coast. What'd you put in a toaster? Toast? No, you don't! No, you don't! Ah. Right. What's it? What would the cows drink? Milk? Ah! No! Ah! Stitched up. Yeah, there you go. Baby cows do, but here's the thing. I looked it up. It's a, a cow is a grown. Adult one. I looked it up. I looked it up. Remember, I looked it up. Sue and David, thanks, Libby. Here's your questions, and you two are going for £60 for each correct answer. Here's your question. Here, it's uh, about animals and their breeds. That fucking envelope, hard as fuck to get that open, man. We will give you the name of a particular breed. We want you to say what kind of animal it is. We'll start you with British Alpine, which is a goat. So British Alpine. That's a goat. Aberdeen Angus. Cow. Shark. Bang. No. 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 Aberdeen Angus. Eh. Uh, right. Aberdeen Angus. Is a Scottish breed of small beef cattle. Um, no, that not, no, no. No. Uh, bull, cow, cow. Bull? No. Uh, anyway, no. Um, an Aberdeen Angus is not a breed of cow. It is cattle. Cattle. Right? Same thing. Wrong. We've been here before. We've been here before. Right? We'll say it again. A cow is a female. Female what? Female what? Cow. And there isn't a singular word for it. It's, it's mad. It's mad. Bovine, aye. That, 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 they should be out. So British Alpine. A goat. Aberdeen Angus. Cow. No. Shire. A horse. Aylesbury. Duck. Norfolk Black. I don't know. 
Rhode Island Red. Chicken. Pomeranian. Dog. Manx. Cat. Flemish Giant. Don't know. Romney Marsh. She's in the zone. She is in the zone. Look. Look. She is in the zone. She could sit there for three hours, four hours solid getting asked these questions and no lose the energy, no lose concentration. No, don't know. Uh, cow, don't know. Artichoke, like that. Eight, Aberdeen Angus. Cow. Shire. A horse. Aylesbury. A horse. Duck. Norfolk Black. I don't know. I don't know. Rhode Island Red. Chicken. Pomeranian. Dog. Manx. Cat. Zone. Flemish Giant. Don't know. Don't know. Romney Marsh. Romney Marsh. Don't know. Ah, well, Romney Marsh was sheep. Flemish. Yep, that's all. And out. Data, huh? Flemish and giant was out of the zone. Black was beautiful. It was a turkey. <sighs> Oh, it's really yes. beautiful, that. Huh? Really beautiful. Really good. But what have we got? We got four. Nice impression. Seven, so, yes, you've got 420 pounds. 420 fucking quid. 1981, I'd say that is, did you buy the last time we looked? In today's money, UK. What's it called again? Inflation calculator. Um, right, we're going to have to keep this in mind. 1981. What was it again? Is that? 420. 420 fucking quid. Look at 70. 420 quid. One thousand four hundred and seventy fucking nine. So you're kind of... Sort of multiply it by four and take a bit off. Multiply it by four and take a bit off. Take a hundred quid off or something. Or something like that. Alright, no, no take a hundred quid off, it doesn't make any sense. So that 70 quid, that looks bad. That's actually about 250 quid. Fucking raging, look at the be stitched up with that 70 look. So at the end of the quiz, we have Edith and Brian on £70, Wendy and Chris are on £360, but the winners of our quiz this week, Sue and David, £420. Unbelievable. Utterly stitched up. So we I just, I, I, if I was them, I would say, Ted, no, 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 stop right there, Ted, don't take another step forward. 180, go to producer of the fuck it is and do this again because we were fucking stitched up huh. would you make an Irish jokes you know making you out to be daft and things like that is that offensive well no because that's the only joke she's understood is that right aye aye is that right aye anyway here's your first question trick question trick question oh <laughs> look Haha, <laughs> look, they're English and they've got 420 quid. They're English and they've got 360. You're Irish and you've only got 70. Bye. They've been fucking stitched up. Stitched up. Stitched up. we a trick question. AJ and Jack sorts. Jam trees. One tree hill. Thanks to subs. Stitched up. Say goodbye to Edith and Brian so soon, which is a bit of a shame. It's always bad when you go wrong on that very first one, you know. I mean, if you do say don't know, that's why we say don't know and get it out of the way. If you really don't know, it's, it's rather nice to do that. And try. I, I know, but for me, uh, interrupt here, Ted, it's one of the ones where you think you do know because it's, you know, a ram. And you think, oh, what's that again? Is that, is that like the kind of male sort of sheep one? Is that the one with the horns? Uh, it's kind of one of the ones that a good amount of people will, will will get wrong. So you think you know it, do you know what I mean? Especially because it's the first question, you know, after the one you already gave us. Um, just watch your back there. Just watch, 
just st just watch where you watch where you tread. Safe drive home, Ted. Drive home yourself, do you? Your car? Yes? Okay. So, yeah, bye for now. Just to confirm it's not a taxi, it's your, it's your motor. Right. Okay. You'll love your score. However, you've got £70, pounds, which is uh, not too bad, is it, when you think about it? There's your ceramic dusty bin, who's worth about as much money, I can tell you that. But you think that's fucking funny? You've been a lovely couple. Thanks for coming all the way over. Ladies and gentlemen, you say goodbye to Eden and Brian. Right on the lips. Lovely. Right. Okay. We were away for the break. Back then with our elimination game to see who goes through to the big prizes. See you in a couple... Oh, sure, lucky woman all. Oh. We were away for the break. Back then with our elimination game to see who goes through to the big prizes. See you in a couple... What? ...couple of minutes. Mm, I'll, I'll give you that. It really would be better if you had the pink all the way down, but I'll give you that. Three. Nothing. Nothing. It needs to face the camera. That didn't face the camera either. That's a point. That doesn't count. That's different. Three. They can't knew what was going on. Oh, game! Part two, ladies and gentlemen. A game. Our remaining couples are about to play the three-two-one video game. We got David and Sue. A what? Sorry. Port and Wendy and Chris. They're from Littlehampton. Now you know what happens here at the bottom of the screen. You'll see you've got a bat. Breakout. And move left or right by using the control stick here. Pong. The object is to hit the ball against the wall. Breakout. If you hit that wall, you'll score points. If you manage to chip your way right through the wall. Nobody so far has done this. To my knowledge, they'll really build up a big, big score. If you do miss a ball... See, Ted, Ted's a gamer. Ted's like that. See, with, with this game here, see if you manage to get all the way up to the top bit. I don't know if you see, that's not just like solid white. That's an actual space up there. And if you get the ball up there, that will honestly go... It'll just bounce up. You know, it'll just fucking batter away like that. It'll, it'll do the work for you. Honestly, you could, you could fucking put the controller down. It'll just... Bounce off the top of the screen against the top of the, the bricks and it'll just keep on going. As long as it doesn't come down that gap again that you made, you want to get it up there. You, you want to get it up there. Honestly, I played this. But I'm sitting about, I'm here, I have to come here at six in the morning. Um, it gets started up and we go through the lines, but a lot, it's a lot of waiting about. And I got a shot of this and I, I'm pretty fucking good at it. And I noticed that if you, if you can honestly get... I'll let you get on with it. Well, then you have to hand the control stick to your barn who continues playing, all right? Who's going to play, play first here, Sue? Sue. Yes, all right, good luck, Sue. And what about Chris and Wendy? Who's playing first here? Chris, the fellas. Right. Well done. Good luck. So, did, did you hear what I just said to them there? See if you can get a gap or a way up to the top. That white bit, that's not like solid white. That's a gap up the top. If you get... It fucking bounces a bit. Fuck, that's well. Can we... Can we cut... Chris, we've got a red light here in the middle which will start to flash. You'll know you're then on the last few seconds of the game, all right? Okay, the one with the most points. Right, uh, a wee problem with the light there, Ted, is that, uh, I don't know if you can see, but I'm here, right? And this light is here. Do you see why I might not be able to see it? That's right. This is just covering, it's just... Affecting my line of sight there. Can you see it? So, this cunt has got an advantage because he's a bit taller than me. Anyway, this, I, I, it should be fine. I'm not going to... Does the matter? I've only got a few seconds left. Do you know what I mean? What am I going to do? Oh, I'm going to press my... I'm going to use my boost on the... I've only got a few seconds left, so I'm going to press the boost. It's not going to make any difference, isn't it? No course goes through with a chance to take home a big prize tonight good luck to you it's fucking it up ted right oh look tonight. good luck to you here we go three two one right oh look at that i see it again good luck to you here we go three two one right it's tonight good luck to you here we go three two one right now that is good isn't it
Do you think he really is pressing a button there? Or... They're just like, so you act like you're pressed the button and we'll switch it on. With a chance to take home a big prize tonight. Good luck to you. Here we go. Three, two, one. Right. Remember, but, uh, right, do you remember what I said about that? Right. Right, so. Right, so. Here, wait a minute, sorry. So. I don't th I don't fucking think. So, is he trying to say if you got that ball through the bricks, that would be bounced about where the numbers are? Where the numbers are? I don't think so. I don't think so. You get a lot of points. Go. Come on! Come on, Andy! Come on, Andy! That's good, that. So... What is it he said? Come on. So see the thing you wanted for Christmas? Uh, you know how you wanted the games thing? Is that, can that do that? Aye. Oh, aye. Well, I'll, 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 look, I'll look into that. Flashing the last few seconds of the game. There we go, that is it. Oh, the fucking points. Look, I look. Look, look on the left. There we go, that is it. The light is now flashing the last few seconds of the game. Right, so look up the top left. Look, they're at 34. They've got 34 points, right? And you see when hit that? That one up there. That 34 uh, becomes. That's fucking seven points. That's seven fucking points. Hold it. I see that right. Few seconds of the game. There we go. That is it. Hold it just there. The higher up ones, like the red bricks. He's no fucking pointed out enough. Enough. He's not really. I each layer goes up a point. I. It's no, it's no point to that right enough. Yeah. Oh. Well. Okay, let's see how we did. We've got David and Sue, they've scored 26, and Chris and Wendy have scored 41, so congratulations. Yeah. Uh, Yara. Well done. Nice. He said he had bad coordination there, yeah. Sue. But you didn't do bad, be honest. It's that terrible thing when you've got to edge it over, isn't it? Aye, well, aye. It's Karen with the money you won in the quiz, which was about 300 and what? 420. 420 it was, that's right. 420 quid. 420 quid. That money back in that day. Or would have been... Oh, I look, no, I looked up. Talk shit. What was it again? 1,450 or thereabouts. This evening, and there is a video game, so at least you can go home, Sue, and get that coordination just a bit better. Ladies and gentlemen, give them a good round of applause. It's no, it's no really like that, Ted. It's no, it's no like that. It's, it's a, it's a thing you turn. It's like a dial, right? It's like a dial. It's no, it's no that. It's not like a, you know, like a fighter pilot fucking stick. There you are. Got a bag for that. You alright? Alright, alright with it. Well, Chris and Wendy, that means uh, you're going through with the chance to take home one of our big prizes tonight. Of course, we've got the booby prize as well. Remember, you win dusty bin, that's what you get a booby, right? One dustbin. We've got five items to show. <laughs> Four he said booby. You also have to work out whether we have a car on the show tonight. Mr. Skush, a canny grow a beard. And Hero James thinks the subs. Glad you like a 3 2 1. What do you think they would play in a modern version of 3 2 1, but a DBD with Ted as a killer? Now that would be fucking good. They need to get him in, Dead by Daylight.
That'd be good, don't it? What would they do? What would they do? Just do that. Just kind of doing that all the time. Oh, I, I have, I have a, uh, uh, Libby, Fiona, and Alison Temple Savage as as survivors that come as a as the whole package. You know, if you buy the whole the whole season and Dusty Bin. Had no, maybe I maybe have Ted as the. Um, no, I have Ted and Dusty as the killers, like like uh, the twins in Dead by Daylight. They come as a, they're a kind of double team, sort of. I don't know what you do. Like maybe Dusty Bin. When you're going a bit as Dusty Bin, you move dead fast, but you can't hit anybody. It's only about Ted has to then pop out of Dusty Bin, and then you can actually start hitting people. But getting out of the bin takes like three seconds. We don't, we don't know whether we do, but you'll have to work that one out. At the end of each of our items, one of the characters... Will it takes three seconds. Three, two, one. ...my table, leave you a clue object, read you a rhyme, which will definitely be a clue. When you've got three of the rhymes on the table, I'll ask you to reject one. When you've rejected four of them, the one that remains will tell you what prize you'll be taking back with you tonight. All What's right? that, sorry? As I said at the top of the show, the theme is country life. And with that kind of theme, we're going out and about. And for the first item, we find two rural... See this guy here? He is two years younger than me. See if I saw him up the tune. He'd be like a wee guy to me. I'd be like, oh, excuse me, let me just squeeze past you there, wee man. You know, like imagine um, I was in a restaurant and I was needing to go to the toilet and he was kind of stunned and talking to his pals. But he was in the way. I'd be like, excuse me, excuse me, wee man, wee pal, wee right, wee man, pal, wee pal. Figures who are out in all kinds of weather, and what a tale they have to tell. Let's watch the shite. My broom handles are killing me. Oh, well, uh, just, uh, just come over here, my dear, and no words. For a wee minute. We'll give him a bit of a rub. Oh, hey, oh. Oh, that's lovely. Thanks a lot. Oh, oh you're welcome. We bought a fucking wood start sticking out between his legs. Welcome. Come far, have you? Oh, uh, it's Les Dennis! Walked all the way from Bally Go Backwards. Oh, well, why didn't you thumb a lift? Thumb a lift? I haven't got any thumbs, have I? All right, all right. <laughs> I keep your straw on. So we're. Keep it strong, get it to the hell. Replace me, are you? Aye, sorry about that, but, uh, well, you know how it is. Yes, 51 and thrown on the compass, deep. I keep telling him I got a young head on my shoulders. Oh, yeah? Yeah, the old one was blown off in the gales two years ago. Uh. Still, I reckon I'm a bit old for the rat race now. The rat race? Yeah, they keep running up one trouser leg and down the other. Oh, I got lost. And the gaffer, he don't look after your proper ear anyway. Oh, yes, I thought you were looking a bit thin. A bit thin? I'm as thin as a post, my dear. Well, you are a post. <laughs> That's true. I never think of that. Uh, listen, I've got... He's not. He's a scarecrow. He's a scarecrow. A uh, scarecrow isn't he a post. Kind of goes in a post, maybe. But a scarecrow is not a post. All right. Oh, yes. Tell me this. Uh, you haven't got a little drink or something, have you? Well, it's funny you should ask that, my dear, because I always keeps me own bit of a brew here, you know, just oh, in case yeah. anybody... Can you, I can't... Can I you get just, it over there? That's right, yeah. I've just... Uh, Sorry. Oh, yes. Can, can you, you just... Yes, yeah, if, if you, you can, can get the top pass it there, over there, there, I think I can just <laughs> knock the... Oh, got it. OK. Right. That's lovely. Just get it in the gob now, there right now. <laughs> right. Uh, listen now. Uh, are you not having any? Uh, no, no, no. You go right ahead and have a little Okay. Dear, <laughs> <coughs> My God, that's powerful stuff. What's it made from? Woodworm. <laughs> <laughs> Still a little bit of life left in old Wurzel yet, I reckon. <laughs> that's a good one. Woodworm. <laughs> it's made a wood one. See what you might not know is there's a thing in uh, absinthe called wormwood, 
which has got hallucinogenic properties, I believe. Van Gogh and some other people used to drink it. Um, absinthe one would, and then I think the one I think they've taken it out. They've reduced the amount that's in um, absinthe. Uh, like that the is it the end? You see? Does it the end? I'm right or not? Hal Psych Psychoactive Plants. No, it's not, it's not really saying anything about it. It's still really saying it. I think it does something. It does. It does do something though. Donald Jazz, Ferris, Wilson, Mister Scush, thanks for subs. Enjoy your thirty. You're very welcome, Ferris. Thanks. Lou Dev. A, a, a slow recovery with your illness, so you don't have to go back to work. Cairn, thanks for sub. Amazing, no matter how shite Ted's jokes are, he'll get a laugh just by pulling a stupid face to his audience, a bit like yourself. Cinderella, thanks for sub. Could I get two tickets to the gun show, please? You better snap out a fucking character, Liz. Little gummage. You little liar, Teddy. <laughs> He's Bobby Ball. I've just had a rough night. Oh, I'm sorry. Never, as an impersonator, say who you're. Never. Really? He's been Bobby Ball. <laughs> It's Wurzel Gummidge. It's you little liar, Teddy. <laughs> it's Bobby Ball. I've just had a rough night. Come on. Hey, it's Bobby Ball. You don't say who you are. Uh, uh, I'm happy. Uh, I'm uh, happy to be here. Me, Prince Charles, here today. Happy to be here. Uh, uh, I am here today, me, Margaret Thatcher, to open this, there's something like that, to open, did, did Margaret Thatcher open things like the Queen? Yes. I'm sorry, but not, of course it's not Wurzel, it's Les Dennis, a brilliant impression, it's like, marvellous. Brilliant. Now listen, you look, I, I don't know where you start or, be, or end here Maybe with all this. Right. Listen, what are you going to leave then is the clue, what's well, the clue? Fucking chuck a match on him, man. You've got uh, a Wurzel Gummidge nose. Oh, a nose? Yeah. One hooter? Yeah. Okay, that's going to be the clue, right? And what about the rhyme? What's it say? Well, I've got me reading it on, so here goes. <laughs> and sure you'll still be happy if you win, lose or draw. But if I scare you off this prize, it would be the last straw. Right. Does that sound like a motor to you? What do you reckon, Chris? Any ideas? Wendy, what do you think it could be? Does that sound like a bin? The main thing is you want to get rid of dusty bin. Dust bin, does it? Well, don't ask me. You, you better ask Wendy. <laughs> anyway, will you please thank, ladies and gentlemen, Les Dennis. Cheers, Les. Thanks, Les. Win, lose, or draw. Is, is, is the words B, letters B, I, N for bin in there somewhere? Well, draw. Last straw. 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 Sometimes you, if you're in a, a motor drinking for a cup, you would prefer to have a lid and but drink it via a straw. You've just rejected the star prize, the car. Thank you. Straw. Straw sounds like car. 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 Did you know in Scotland to go at car? Have you, have you brought your core 
in some places in, in, in Scotland to say caw. So that sounds like straw. You've rejected the star prize. Wow. Yeah. You, you don't think it sounds like a dustbin? Any idea, Wendy, what you think it might no, be? I don't think so. Um... It's in a reserve judgment on it, and maybe hear it again a bit later, yes. possibly. Be maybe. Draw, uh -huh. so something worth winning. All right, well, let's, let's hold on. Let's move away and have our next item. You okay, know, okay. Musical group coming now from the country. In their field, they're the best there is. Nobody can get anywhere near them, which isn't surprising when you work in a farmyard. Anyway, I'm only joking, but ladies and gentlemen, oh, Wendy, right. Chris, they're only the Wurzels. Fucking Wurzels. Next bit. Combine Harvester. I don't know that song. Next, go on it, go on it, go on it, go on it, next. Go on it, that went on far, I'm just looking, oh, what a lovely audience. Have a nice time. You alright? You alright down there? You alright down there? You don't look like, like... <sighs> oh, a few empty seats up the back here. Oh dear. There's somebody there. Gap. Somebody there. Gap. There, there. Leaning there, there. Am I seeing... A gap there as well. A few empty seats. That's not too good. Maybe that, is that a seat that's been slid along away from her? That's dead, they don't get on. Fucking <laughs> horrible. Horrible. Yeah. There they are. Here's a Tony and Tommy. The world. Great fellas, love, I love that. The champion dung spreader. Anyway, guys, what are you going to leave for the clue? There you are, Ted. It's straw. Mm -hmm. Ah, we said we had straw in the last one somewhere, didn't we, Chris? Yes, we, yes, did. we did. Well, confusing you're really good and proper now. There's a straw, and what about the rhyme? What does that well, say? Well, we got a real home digger. <laughs> <laughs> to be a champion spreader, you've got to have your cart. What happens when your tea leaves are ready to depart? No. Mum's it. What do you say, Wendy? Cart. Read. Tea leaves, you could throw them in the dustbin. Mm -hmm. Throw them away. Down the sink. Down well, the sink. At, le at least you're thinking pretty good. And we're only at the second stage at the moment. We Dust can't. Thank the Wurzels, ladies and gentlemen. She's little boys, bro eat stuff. Bro eat stuff, boys. Bro eat. At least it's good you're really, really thinking about that. At least we're going to have to make up our minds when the next one's on the table. So we'll steam ahead and let's get on with our jaunt in the country. We find there, like everywhere else, sometimes the inhabitants are not feeling too good. Both man and beast need expert advice. Who do they turn to? Of course, the vet. I thought it was going to rhyme with advice, like Miami Vice. We're not, we're not what, to see this? Oh, Riley, there you are. Oh, yes, oh, yes. <laughs> Temple then. Savage. Now well, then, Mr. Um, uh, Mrs. Trodling, I rang at the surgery. Temple this Savage. Harvey, you told me to bring him along here this afternoon. Yes, and how was the little fella getting along then? Oh, yes, there's a good... Don't do that, <laughs> dirty boy. Oh, yes, he has got quite... See you. And... Just go on, mate. How long do you think yours would be if people kept picking you up by them? Just go on, mate. Now, Ted, here we are again. Just go on, mate. Just go on, mate. Michael. Now, Ted, here we are again. Michael. The vet. And what's the clue then, the Mike? The clue this time is a leaf, a lettuce leaf. A lettuce leaf is the yes. clue. Uh -huh. And the little bunny rabbit. Uh huh. And what does it say? The and the, the rhyme is I may not be much of a vet, you may think I'm a laugh, but do I know what a rabbit eats? Not half. No, what, 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 it's just a leaf. Um, 
do you know what a rabbit eats? Car? Car carrot! Half a carrot car! Not half, not half, not half. Not half. A bin eats. Car rot, rot, rot. You know what they're going to do? You know what these bastards who make this programme are going to do? See, if they reject that, they're going to make it the car. See, if they keep it to the end, that's the last one, they're going to make it fucking dusty bin. Bastards. Rot, 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 not half. Car rot, rot, it's a bin, it's dusty, dusty bin, you're, you're going away with fuck all. I would like to reject um, that one. Carrot, carrot, not half. But it's not half. I know, but you, you, you've rejected this, the, 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 the more. So you want to be getting that. Uh-huh, what do you think? Rabbit. What do you reckon, Wendy? Rabbit. A rabbit eats is as far as we've got. We've got to say thanks very much indeed okay. to Mike Newman. Thanks Cheers, Mike. Catch you later. Cheers, mate. Okay. See you later. Take care, okay? Yeah. Great. Good work. Good work, yeah, mate. Okay. Love that. Love well, that. You You've just heard that from Mike. I can read the nose, which was brought in by Wurzel Gummidge, which was Les Dennis, of course, or the straw brought in by the Wurzels. Which one of those two would you like to hear? Um, I think the straw, yeah. Straw you'd like to hear again? All right. Yes, the boys came in and said, to be a champion spreader, you've got to have your card. What happens when your tea leaves are ready to depart? Tea leaves are ready to depart. Uh, tea, uh, what, uh, it's not a fucking, it's not a fuck. Cart. Tea leaves are ready to depart. Cart, tea leaving. Tea leaving the cart. Car. So, one of them has to go right now. What do you reckon? Lettuce. lettuce. Yeah, we reject the lettuce. You're rejecting the lettuce? Right. Yes. What was that again? Yes. Only because you don't have any idea. That's right. But, that was... They're going to say... It's going to say that's it! Oh, uh, the tea... Tea leaves... Tea leaves... Cart? Cart? Tea leaving... Cart? Car? That's the motor. Carrot? Not half. Half? Half a carrot? Car. You rejected the car. Make everything the motor. Make everything possibly the motor. Make everything possibly dusty bin. They are fucking out of man. Sure about it now? Yes. Any idea in the audience what it could be? No, I should have asked you. You know more. <laughs> okay, you're, gonna, you're sure about this? Yes. Okay, How? Reject well, because he works with the yes, phones and mind. things. Das XTV thinks the sub. Thank you very much. Do go on tondre. Lemme, you're glowing today. Have you been working out? And the hairline? Tremendous. Thanks as always for the best stream on Twitch. You're very welcome. Have I been working out? The only thing I'm working out is, is this the motor? Or is this Dusty Bin? Or what? Is it like a, a you know, cutlery set? That's the only thing I've been working out recently. Spinderella. Thanks for the sub. Don't adjust. The Spinderella. The mighty wallets are thanks to the sub. Mike Newman said, I may not be much of a vet. You may think I'm a laugh, but do I know what a rabbit eats? Not half. Is what he this is it. This is getting rejected. He said, I may not be much of a vet. You may think I'm a laugh. Well, he certainly was a laugh, of course, but he said he knew what a rabbit eats. Not half. Well, what do rabbits eat? Let, 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 let us, let us, let us, let, 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 let. Let us, toss, toss, toss. They eat lettuce, yes, that's true. Among other things, what else do they eat? Carrot, carrot. Yes, they do. Well, what isn't quite half of carrots? Yes, you've rejected tonight's star prize, the car! That's a fucking coin! Rot! If this was the last one, they would ended up with, they would have made it rot. So it's half, half of that. What, what kind of stuff do you put in? 
Where, where would you put writing stuff? A bin. That's a fucking con. Oh dear. The one you had. And by the way, how do you spell carrot? How do you spell carrot? Carrot? I thought so. I thought so. C A R R O T. Right? Because I was, I was wondering, am I getting this wrong? Is it like fucking two R's and two fucking T's? I don't. Yes, they do. Well, what isn't quite half of carrots? Yes, you've rejected tonight's star prize. Yes, they do. Well, what isn't quite half of carrots? Yes, you've rejected tonight's star prize. No, 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 Ted. Carrots. No, 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 no. No, carrots. Carrot. Carrot. Right, don't just stick an S at the end and make it, oh, it's a, 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 an odd amount of letters, so Carl's like, you know, it's like three letters out of a four letter word. No, 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 no. No. He said it isn't half. Right, but see, carrot, go by carrot, no carrots. Carrot, C-A-R-R-O-T, and car is a half of carrot. It is. On this. The car. <laughs> See them for Belfast. Them for Belfast will be going up to them later and going, yeah, yeah, that's what happened to us. Yeah. Oh, oh I'm actually grateful that we went out early so we didn't get hopes up. The one you had, you'd had no idea what that would be, did you? Stand over there, Chris. Well, what a shame, huh? We did have a car on the show tonight, tonight's star prize. You've rejected it, so you feel a bit sore about that, I'm sure, don't you, Wendy? Yes? Say, lovely, that's nice. What sort of car do you have, Chris, at home? We don't at the moment. You don't? Oh, dear. <laughs> well, don't... Oh, you could have helped him. <laughs> what a shame. Anyway, there you are. It's there. The Mini Metro as well, would you believe? It's been rejected, so it has to go away. We're going away just for a couple of minutes, ladies and gentlemen. Uh. Back after the break. We know we have the bin on the show. More star prizes. Look forward to seeing you with Chris and Wendy just a couple of minutes. What a switcheroo. What a fucking switcheroo. With Chris and Wendy just a couple of minutes. I'm gonna give. I'm gonna give that three. Uh, uh, I'll give that a three. That does not count. That does not count. That's a point. Doesn't count. It's got to be this. The three faces, yeah. The two is like that. The one's like that. Anything that is like this, three, and then that is the two. Sideways. That doesn't count. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Welcome to part three, ladies and gentlemen. Of th Somebody hacked into my my internet today. A video where they're going to be accusing me of things. You, Brian Lament, stand guilty of, but it's not. It's not worked it. 3 two, one where Chris and Wendy Elliott okay. from Littlehampton have just turned down tonight's star prize. Yes, we did have one on the show, a brand new car. And here I am standing in the grounds of Boggle Drop Manor. Continue. Here's, here's, right, you know, I'm make we joke about getting hacked into and all that. Here's what happens in films in 2022 and 2023 and 2025 and shit like that. Some will get hacked into. And on the screen will be that in this day and age. Like that, but that doesn't happen. You know, like stuff happening, like no. Some cunt wearing some sort of V for Vendetta style mask, voice changer, or that push. See, see that uh, film climax that I watched. There's a bit in the, at the very beginning, it's like going through tapes or these dancers as if they're kind of wanting to be involved in this dance. And it's like they've recorded, not that they've been, they've been kind of like getting interviewed. And it's like a, a video they're getting recorded. Um, 
and they've got to kind of try to do a kind of VHS keep that interference here and there like you know yeah. just some wee white horizontal lines I'm just looking at it going like that that's not what it looked like that's not what it looks like if you're going to do that you've also got to maybe wobble it a wee bit as well it's just not good enough and see the they showed like tons of wee pixels, tons of wee pixels like on this telly. You didn't see the pixels. You didn't see the pixels on a CRT telly. You didn't see them. It's wee RGB, 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 RGB. It just all kind of blood like that. You saw scan lines, you didn't. You didn't. It went that fast. You, you didn't. And anyway, this didn't have scan lines anyway. You didn't see line, 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 line. You didn't see it. I don't, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it's just not good enough. It's not. Search find Alistair thinks the subs. You should scrap the can in front of them. Aye. Scrap the motor right there and then. So we're just going to get this smashed up for you now because you're not getting it. Nobody's getting it. Pobert, Zafri, Super Good Norman, Wilson thinks the subs. The gift subs. Thank you very much. Shrine thinks the sub. Looks like it's aged by about fucking 40 years there, look. With our theme of the oh. country. And to see what life is like in the town and the country. Now, in the village, pub sees everything. While most of the regulars see double, right now you're going to see treble. Because here come three great buddies of mine. Ladies and gentlemen, the Brother Lees. Who? Yeah. Who the fuck? And on the show was Barbara Woodhouse. Another Barbara fucking Woodhouse reference. So she's on it one week, she's referenced another week, and then again, walkies. With a good dog here and a good dog there, sit, walkies. Oh, McDonald had a show. <laughs> Who are they? Who are they? Who are they? They're good to him. They're good. The show was anywhere in Who? A good dog here and a good dog there. Here it. Walkies. Oh, McDonald. Who's that? Is that the guy from Minder or something? Who have we got now? And on the show was Patrick Moore. What is it? What is it? Where is it? What is it? Where 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 is it? What's up, Doc? 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 Where is it? I knew he was going to say splash it all over. I knew he was going to say, I knew they were going to do that. Um, the boxer, or oh fuck, what did he just say? Henry Cooper then did adverts for Brute. Summertime and living is easy.
he was the first boxer to knock down Muhammad Ali, who I think went by Cassius Clay at the time. I bet you thought that was Tom Jones. And that's it. Didn't even beat him. Didn't even beat him, though. Didn't knock him out. Nothing like that. That's it. He didn't do it not for the rest of his life. Didn't do it not for the rest of his life, man. <laughs> anyway, there's nothing like a nice hot bath to make you feel great. And especially with this, in it? The new Brute 33 bath foam. And you pour a nice big cap full in the oh. water. Oof. It makes your skin Careful. nice and smooth. And when you get out of the bath, you've got the great smell of Brute all over. Lovely. <laughs> oh, that's no splash it all over. This has got splash it all over. But this references the fact he says. Good work out of there, Henry. And after a good workout, nothing beats the great, great smell of brute. Here, you trying to muscle on my act? Yeah, why don't you throw in a towel, Henry? Good job. <laughs> Oof. 33. The deodorant with muscle. Oh, what's that? Hey, <laughs> fucking watch it. 33. Oh, fucking yeah. I'll get that right up there. Fucking watch it. I'll like to see you fucking try. I'll fucking try, all right. I'll fucking try. Oh, you want that? Well, well, where the fuck is it? Oh. Inksy, thanks for the sub. Fuck off. <laughs> oh, 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 wait, we have a mistake, look! <laughs> and we're getting all mixed up! And then we're getting all mixed up! Brilliant stuff, man. And you can see the guy was laughing at the end there. You can see the guy was laughing at the end there. So you could tell it wasn't the one they faking it. Because the guy couldn't have heard the laughter and they'd made a an arse at Oh, bro. What were they called again? The, 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 yeah, what were they actually called? Something Lees or something? A brand new car. And here I am standing in the grounds of Boggle Drop Manor, continuing. Village pub sees everything. While most of the regulars see double, right now you're going to see treble because here come three great buddies of mine. Ladies and gentlemen, the Brother Lees. The Brother Lees. See that, by the way? And that, and that, and that, and that, and that. The Brother Lees. Comedy UK. Uh, Brother Lees. Here they were on. A number of things. 70 fucking four? They were in stuff in 74 and... Is there some here? People queued up to see The movies they now watch Let me have a quick scroll. Bet you any money there's something dodgy. That's possibly there. Right, so they did sort of impressions and that Frank Spencer. No, right. Oh, Scottish. Now I think you'll agree. I think you'll agree that this is a good turn. But why we've gone to the expense of booking three of them when one would have done is beyond me. Oh no, that's something else. Oh, it's that fucking thing. Bro, bro, brother Lee's brilliant stuff. Brilliant stuff. Oh, oh, fucking Bring in your stupid fucking clue. Go. Marvellous, guys. Lovely to see you again after such a time. Thank you, Ted. Now, Thank listen, you, Ted. here's one for you. you know, I mean, I know, but lots of people are always saying, and I'm sure you get this all the time, that are you, in fact, real brothers? 
Well, if, if you look carefully at our noses, you will see that we are. Oh, I'm sure you've noticed that his nose is far bigger than mine. <laughs> yeah, it was. Very good. So, so now we all know, right. All right, fellas, what are you leaving as the clue? The hat. The hat. The hat. Okay. The hat is the clue for you. Right, what about the rhyme? The rhyme is, old MacDonald wouldn't need this unless his farm was rotten. But it might turn you cold after winter's been forgotten. Ah, now, nah, Wendy. Obviously, sounds like a bin. Sounds like a bin. But the rhyme is the hat. Listen again. The hat. Okay. Yes. Is the clue for you? Could be a holiday. The Aye. The rhyme is old MacDonald wouldn't need this unless his farm was rotten. He wouldn't need this unless his farm was rotten. Um, it's a hamper. It's a fucking hamper, isn't it? It's another hamper. Rotten, I compost, compost bin thing. But it might turn you cold after winter's been forgotten. It, it might turn you cold after win winter's been forgotten. Um, is it a selection of, uh, is it an ice cream hamper? Ah, no, Wendy. Hmm? A hamper of ice cream? Thank please, the Brother Lees. Ladies and gentlemen, the Brother Lees. Cheers, guys. Winter's been forgotten. And it's a hat. What do you think, Wendy? Any idea what that The hat's something to do with it. Well, the hat. You sometimes wear a hat if you're on holiday. But you also sometimes wear a hat when you go to a bin. When you go to the bins, you sometimes wear a hat. It's just this, this the bin. Oh, oh, oh. No, no, what are you on about? Oh, you wear a hat when you go to a, you go to take a bins out, right? Are you trying to tell me nobody has ever in the history of fucking humanity worn a hat when they've put the bins out or when they've emptied the bin? I didn't say that, right? But that's what I'm saying. That's the fucking clue. So it's fucking dusty, dusty bin, all right? What the boys are just said? It's obvious. It's fucking obvious. Something about winter's been forgotten. We got the nose. So you're saying. You would, if it was up to you, you would ban people for wearing a hat when they're going, when they're putting the bins out. The fuck are you on about? What are you on about? It's dusty, dusty bin. We, we, that's what you're getting. That's it. Look, they went away with seventy fucking quid. You should be fucking grateful. Get it. To hear again, all the straw brought in by the Wurzels. Which one would you like to hear? The nose. Yes, you'd like to hear the nose from Les Dennis. Les said, "I'm sure you'll still be happy if you win, lose, or draw." Draw. Draw. Some people draw. You've 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 kept dusty bin because some people draw in bins, didn't they? You draw it like the number, maybe the number for your house. But if I scare you off this prize, it would be the last straw. That's what Les said. Straw. You just heard what the voice said. Like straw. Yes. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes when you're on holiday, you might say the word straw. At some point, the word straw might come up. Um, oh, I don't like drinking that straw with that. What do you think it is a straw with white wine? Why are they giving me a straw with white wine? That's a hot. just rejected the holiday. The Gribo and Sean C. Thinks and subs. A Christmas return to Skyrim? No, we'll just leave out the past where it belongs. Our theory about the straw proved wrong, so. Uh... <laughs> Well, we, we just, it's probably the fin. <laughs> I've left uh, what's her name behind. What's her name? What's her name? What's her name in uh, Lydia? What's that? The straw? The straw? Yes. So what are you going to do? One's we, gonna... we discard the straw. Yes. You're going to really get rid of it and reject the straw? Yes. yes. What about Try it, audience? The <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, they agree with you this time. Yes. Okay, well... Oh, he loves it, but I'll the crowd, man. Malbourne. R.I.P. Malbourne. Uh, it's so tragic what happened. My memory's a wee bit foggy of what happened to Melbourne, but um my, let's not think about it. Another motor car, you sure you're gonna reject the straw? Yes. yes. Okay, you're gonna reject the straw. So that was brought in by the Wurzels. To be a champion spreader, they said. You've got to have your cart. What happens when your tea leaves are ready 
to depart. Well, we knew, know that that isn't the motor. That was definitely going to be the motor as well. Right. To be a champion spreader, you've got to have your cart. Well, is this a reference to a muck cart or another sort of vehicle? Well, what happens when your tea leaves? Well, when your tea leaves cart, what's left? Car. Yeah, cart. Well, we've lost one of those. Is that? Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Exactly, Ted. So, what happens with that? Car. Ah, aye. So, if you had the motor by this point, if you had the rejected it by this point, that would have been it. But the good thing is, our team of writers, which is where most of the money goes, we pay the writers a fortune so that we can hold on to like, the motor and the holiday and stuff like that. It's a kind of if else sort of thing if if they've already got the motor right go to the next one go to the next one go to the next one if they already fuck it if they got the motor get them that rejects the motor if they already rejected it right go to the next one they're fucking it aren't they we'd have two on one show but we did say your tea leaves and when they're ready to depart where do they go you were right Wendy yes you've rejected Dusty Ben <laughs> This is, I mean, there you go, they've rejected dust, that's good, that's good, right? But, tea leaves, and when they're ready to depart, where do they go? You were right, Wendy? Yes, you've rejected Dusty Ben. Right, so when, you're, when your tea leaves ready to depart, so when you're finished with your tea leaves or your tea bags, where do you put them? That's right, you put them in the bin. You needed a motor car, stand just there. I didn't even think to ask whether you needed a dustbin. Did you need a dustbin? No, we've got one. You have one. He is rather nice. Always once you've rejected him, he's rather nice. OK, audience, you were right, weren't you? Yeah. yeah. Hope you were right at home. Anyway, he's been rejected. So at least you're going home with a good prize tonight. Thanks, Karen. Take well, the little rascal away. Let's get back a to prize. the table. prize. Uh, just careful with the pitchfork there. Let's get back to the table. Health and safety. Or whatever it is. No pitchfork, what is it that kind of sheep thing? All right, we have just one more item to go now. And then Aye, we'll have the Bobby. Final one on the table, down to the last three. So let's get on with our half theme this week of country life. So we they're getting something. The annual fate, the manor, all the local dignitaries are there. And as we shall see, the pleasantries. Behind them, there is dirty work afoot. Wait a minute. That's fucking Henry Cooper there. Oh, Vicar. Oh, I'm watching a shite. Oh, oh. Another success? How many years have we held the boggle drop fate in the grounds of the manor? This is the 13th. 13th. Telling authority fuck. that it would be impractical for me to preach to my... Get a fuck. <laughs> oh, what should we... <laughs> oh, let's see that harm look. Well enough in the end, though. How can it have done? Oh, quite simple, quite simple. We have agreed an alternative room. Where? <laughs> Health and fucking safety. Oh, Vicar. Could you, did you not think about maybe swinging the fucking bar back the way? You know, away for the actors. I mean, look. Get fucking whack right up. Quite simple. Ain't good there. An alternative room. Where? I mean, I know it's just plastic and stuff like that, but... Oh, Becca! You're Judas! Christian principles, Lady Bogglerup. Christian principles! Oh. Wouldn't be what they are at these days. One wee bit of plastic hits against the other one, sort of squeezes through it, pops out like a fucking... You know, like a... Elastic band or something like that. Fuck you. Why don't we bet right now? Lady Bogledrop, Joan Benham. Lovely to have you with us, Joan. Lovely to be here. Listen, been in many, many hit series, of course. Yes. I mean, yeah. many times have we seen you in so many different roles, but of course, I, I imagine one of the, the most, one that people, well, the one that everyone sort of remembers you for. Huh? must be upstairs downstairs. I think it is, yes. yes. Even though it finished four years ago, it still 
the one they remember. So what about the clue? What okay, sorry to interrupt you, but, you know, I've kind of gone on a wee bit there, if you don't mind. Uh, saying so, just... Years ago, it's still the one they remember. So what about the clue? Oh, they edited it. They did actually edit it. Look. Four years ago, it's still the one they remember. So what about... Bang! Cut! So I think what happened was she said, it's still the one they remember, but I have been busy. I have been doing theatre and uh, uh, television. There was a play about a couple of years ago that got good reviews, and uh, but, you know, they have a uh, revolving door of cast members and and so on. So it's good. Uh, not finished, Ted. Thank you. Thank you. About the clue, what are you leaving for these lovely folks? That. That's a comb. A cone is the clue for you, Chris and Wendy. And what about the rock? Cone sounds like coat. It's clothes. What does that say? You saw the pile of rubble. Uh -huh. The bypass is a must. Right. But if you saw this prize, you'd be sore at all the dust. No, it's not dusty bin, is it? No, he certainly... Right, right, so, see that? I would keep that one. I would keep that one. You know why? Because they were hoping that, or you get that one and then you go, oh, uh, oh, that's Dusty Bin. I'm going to keep that to the, uh, we're going to get rejected. And then they go, ha, you rejected because it says the word dust. You've actually fucking rejected a fucking holiday, man. You know, something like that. Holiday Dust Sahara Desert. Aye, this is a holiday. I would go for this because this, this is the one that seems most like Dusty Bin. And be the biggest twist if you did reject it. But because they already know Dusty Bin is gone, I, th I think this is it. You tell by the smile on the faces, can't It's a holiday in the Sahara <laughs> Desert. Joan Benham. Thank you, Joan. Thank you. Everybody, did you know that Sahara means desert? Did you know the Sahara Desert is the desert desert? No, there certainly can't be two dusty bins, Wendy. It's certainly not that. <laughs> no, no, really. <laughs> You're appealing there, aren't you? Well, you can hear the hat, of course, which was brought in by the boys, the brother Lees. Brilliant, a brilliant Kim comedy. Uh, the first item, which was the Wurzel Gummers, Gummage sketch. What's that? In by Les What's the what? The first item, which was the Wurzel Gummers, Gummage sketch. No, no Gummers. No, you're thinking of Brothers Lee. You said Gummers there. You see, Ted... You do what I do. I, I fuck things up like that all the time. I stutter, stammer, get my words mixed up all the time. That's why I should never be a presenter. Brought in by Les Dennis. The she meant to say Wuzzle Gummage, but you just just are saying Brothers Lee, so you're like, ah, oh, Brothers, Brothers. Um. First item, which was the Wuzzle Gummers, Gummage sketch. I fucked it up. You like to hear the hat again? All right, yes, the boy said, the brother Lee said, old MacDonald wouldn't need this. Unless his farm was rotten, but it might turn you cold Andy. after winter's been forgotten. I know what it is. It's a holiday. It's a fucking holiday. Like, you know what? The, the food's all rotten. I, I, I don't need a holiday unless the whole place is fucked. Unless the food's, you know, the food's rotten or the field's rotten. It's a holiday. This will only turn you cold unless winter's been forgotten. Winter's been forgotten means winter's gone. So how come winter's gone? Yet this is no wet turn cold. Holiday wear. When all winter has been forgotten. Where does it get cold? Australia. As we are seeing the back of winter, they're starting to head towards winter. It's Australia. It's a holiday. In Sydney. Guaranteed. Maybe something of freezer, perhaps. Yes. Which freezer? freezer? Oh, they're debating. Oh, oh, is it? Oh, oh, freezer. freezer. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Oh, we're unanimous on that. <laughs> well, we don't need that, do we? Who needs that? 
<laughs> well, what do you think one's got to go? The hat. The hat. Oh, really? We just, we just can't the hat. Really? Okay, this is on your head. Do you really? <laughs> okay. Ah, nice one. You're going to reject that. Nice one. Brought in by the brother Lees. All right, I'm just... He didn't sell it. That was a... This is on your head. Fucking hat. That's a cracker, Ted. You know, pick up the hat. Yeah, sometimes you've got to make these jokes a bit more obvious in 1981. Pick up the hat and go like that. Get it. You know what I mean? You know, like that. Remember, there wasn't any irony back then. There wasn't any kind of... Right, I know that's a bit of a shite joke, but you know what I mean. Ha ha. Ha ha. On your head, be it. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. Ha ha. That's funny. No, there was none of that because this is the first time jokes had ever been told. This is the first. This is the first lap. This this is the first time funny things had happened. Before this, it was coal mines, um, factories, these looms and stuff like that. Charles Dickens type fishkeeper thinks the sub. Glad you like it, Lord Labro. Nath thinks the subs. The Dark Elf. Kieran thinks the subs. And I don't fucking quit! Can I get an impression of the world's greatest impressionist refusing to do impressions on demand? Kieran thinks of the hundred fucking quid. Can I get an impression of the world's greatest impressionist? Refusing to do impressions on demand. Um I can't do that. I'm not gonna be doing that. I won't be doing that. Thank you very much, um, Kieran. Every penny of that will be spent on Bobby. Thank you very much. The Greibel, Sean C, thanks again. Thank you very much. Kieran, don't come back to me and say that was meant to be a tenor. Um, no refunds. It's a scam. It's a known scam. It's a known scam. Thank you very much. Ready for you. Yeah. What is a scam exactly? I can't remember what it is. It's something like where well, I kind of started professionally streaming. People told us about it. Um, this is just a wee joke about. I don't actually think it's a fucking scam. I didn't, Kieran. But um, somebody gives money and then at some point later says, oh, I made a mistake. Oh, I want a refund or something like that. And then you give them a refund via PayPal, like you just give them the money back. Something like that, right? But then they can then also go to their bank and request a refund via the bank or something. So it's like they get charged back, either get refunded twice as if they're protected by the bank. Don't worry, we'll get that money back. We can get any money back that you pay. We can get any money back that you pay. Um, Something like that. I don't quite know. I can't quite. So you get your money back twice. Charge back through the bank and PayPal refund from the streamer. I like that. That's why you get streamers going like, no refunds, no refunds, no refunds. We're going to reject the hat brought in by the brother Lees. All right, I've just read it for you. What does it say? Thank you very much, though. Old MacDonald wouldn't need this unless his farm was rotten. Well, did rotten make you think of dustbin? Yes, it did, but you know you've got rid of him. Well, it might turn you cold, so might winning the booby prize, but we do know he's gone. Half the winter's been forgotten because this is cold. Absolutely right. It will keep your produce in very good condition. This fabulous freezer. Take a look. Right, they've rejected that. They've rejected that, though. That's it. Just get it in place there. Thank you. Okay, Chris, are ready? Just come... Oh! Oh, wait. Uh... Oh, they all now look. Look what's in it, ladies and gentlemen. Stand just over there, would you? They Stand there, please. Freezer. It really is a terrific. Stand there. And it's full of country. Yeah, no, they're not plastic. Would you believe we got beef, lamb, country broad produce, a range of poultry, game, fish, everything. The whole thing would have been stacked, ready for you to have taken home. But you've got a freezer at home, haven't you? Yes. I know the audience have got a freezer. <laughs> they're okay. We've rejected it. It's got to go away. Thanks, Fiona. 
Was that a put down? Was that some sort of put down? What do you mean? <laughs> I know they've got a freezer. <laughs> I know they've got a freezer. Because they're cold. Right. Let's get. But if they're cold, they don't need a freezer. Back to the top. Freezer stacked, ready for you to have taken home. But you've got a freezer at home, haven't you? Yes. I know the audience have got a freezer. <laughs> they're okay. <laughs> nice one. Stick it to them. What the fuck are you on about, Ted? I know they've got a. Not all these have got a freezer. <laughs> How? Because they're fucking. They're cold. Are they cold? How are they cold? Oh, just st stop picking apart every week comment I make. I know, I'm just. What? Are you saying the audience are cold? Like cold hearted or something? What do you mean? Oh, just shut up. It's, it's a laugh. It, it's got to go away. Thanks, Fiona. Let's get back to the table. Thanks, Fiona. Cheers. Oh, well. well I'll just take that away now. Well Thank you. Nice, Boys. Yes, indeed. Work that out very well indeed. So we now have just two left. There's two left. Joan, uh, Joan Benham just brought in. And, of course, the nose again brought in by Les Dennis. And I can read them both again as we have two. Les said... I'm sure you'll still be happy if you win, lose, or draw. But if I scare you off this prize, it would be the last straw. Straw. Scare. Draw. We. Uh, the prize is a fantastic um, caricaturist who's going to do whole family portraits. Draw. Family portraits for you in a kind of scary style. So, make, make you look like kind of Bride of Frankenstein and uh, you would look like like, uh, like a werewolf or something. And it'd be really, really big. Like really good ones. Not just like wee daft ones. Really good with oil and acrylics. There's that word again. Win, lose, or draw. Sounds like football matches and mm -hmm. football results. I could be that. Could be um, a football result. Your prize could be getting told um, a football result for that day. Yeah, so what do you think that could be if it was anything to do with football? I've not really thought that far ahead, Ted. Could you not try and catch me out, Ted? Because there's been plenty of things you've been saying throughout this episode that just don't make sense. So why are you trying to make a cunt me in front of national fucking telly? The audience have no idea, have they? You can see he was thinking that, look. Matches. Mm -hmm. He's staring at him like that, look. look. Yeah, so what do you think that could be if it was anything to do with football? Look. Oof. Oof. Aye, right, so what do you think that could be if it's anything to do with football? I actually said that like a... Like a fucking detective. Gone, hmm. I didn't say she drowned, sir. I don't think, no, it wasn't in the paper she drowned, sir. How, what made you think she drowned, sir? I didn't say that, sir. I didn't, I don't know, there's nothing in the papers that she drowned, sir. Where did you, how did you know that, sir? Look at that. Just one with the, no, Colombo isn't even like that. What do you think that draw? Sounds like look, Ted's like mm -hmm. look at look at Ted pure locked in. Fat boy, fat boy. So what do you think that could be if it was anything to do with football? Like, yeah. So what do you think that could be if it was anything to do with football? Look, he's pure looking a whole lot. If it's anything to do, with, do you know what I mean? Do you know? Do you know what I mean? What do you think that could be if it's anything to do with football? Was it? But it doesn't make any sense. But it, well, Ted, a lot of you, what you've said, doesn't make, that's called, what, what, no, well, that's called what about uh, Isn't it, Ted? Uh, isn't it, well, you're kind of like, oh, well, what about you, Ted? You've said a lot of things that don't make sense, so you're admitting. We can get rid and talk about me, the things I've said that don't make any sense. We can do that if you like, mate. But you will admit initially that you don't make sense regarding this thing about football results. Can we start for there? We start for there? Come. Yeah, so what do you think that could be if it was anything to do? Look at that, look, we look to the side, look. Like, can, you, can you believe it? Like, he's, he's locked in, look. He is locked in. Football. 
Football. What? Football. Kind of gone higher. Like, what? It's, it's that, he's went up to that high note, meaning, what the fuck are you on about? What are you on about? Well, what do you think that could be if it's anything to do with football? Like that? Like, well, why did you do, why did you do that? Well, I just thought that it was something, 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 something. Well, why did you think it was that? It was anything to do with football? I don't know. I just, look at that. Look, look how long he looks at him. Mm-hmm. results. Yeah, so what do you think that could be if it was anything to do with football? Look how long this lasts! Look! Staring at a fucking uh, Street Fighter fucking 5 kind of character select fucking screen, look! The audience, do you think that could be if it was anything Character to select, look! The audience have no fucking idea. Fucking hell, man! To do with football. What's that, Ted? What's that, Ted? What was that? I'm just asking, you know, what is it to do with... No, that's no, that's not really how you said it. Don't make it that you just said this to me, Ted. Oh, uh, what, what do you think it could be if it's sent to the football? It's the way you said it. How did I say it? I don't know. I'm not very good at remembering things like this, but I just know, I could sense that you're taking a piss at me. What's that? <laughs> how was that taking a fucking piss? I can't spar, am I? I'm no para. I'm no para. I know how you said it, Ted. You went like this. Well, well, what do you think it could be if it said it to be football? I don't, I don't know what you're on about. Does it, audience, audience, does anybody know what this guy's on about? Are you, what do you make of this guy? Get him! Get him! Yeah, so what do you think that could be if it was anything to do with football? <laughs> the audience have no idea, have they? No. See, they're never there when you need them. You know what I mean? Oh, it would have been good if he was actually gone like that. They've, got, they've not got any idea what you mean. They've not, they've not got any idea what you mean. I don't know what you mean. She doesn't know what you mean. Tell me, do you know what you mean? I don't even think you know what you mean. Football results. Yes. Oh, Congratulations, yes, you were right. It's football results. Fucking four far, or so far, four. For fuck's sake. Never had a little draw. Sounds like football matches and mm-hmm. football results. Yeah, so what do you think that could be if it was anything to do with football? The audience have no idea, have they? No idea. <laughs> the audience have not got an idea, what you're saying. No curtains. And I'll tell you right now, see when this finally goes out in a month, when this goes in the telly, nobody watching will know what the fuck you are on, what you're on. But you'll probably lose your job by this, by the way. Just to let you know, you've got a month to get your CV out there and find a new job because once this is hit the telly, once this hit the, hits the airwaves, you'll be a laughing stock. And if you're client facing, if you actually have to face any clients, well, your authority, an air of authority is required. Well, that's out the window. You fucked it. They don't know what you're on about. With football. What? <laughs> yeah, so what do you think that could be if it was anything to do with football? If it was anything to do with football. Looking a bit, I love that look to her. Like, it was anything to do with football. Look. The audience have no idea what it could be if it was anything to do with football. The audience have no idea. Silence. No. <laughs> See, they're never there when you need them. You know what I mean? They're never there. All right, let's read this one again. Brought in by Joan just now. What colour is that fucking suit? Is it purple? Is it... Is that a fucking... Is that a half sucked uh, black currant ice pole? Shrives comes alive thanks to sub. Tilly Potato, DC Sticks, that you're very welcome. Ballwagger, Mud Stewart, Lamamo thanks to subs. It will be my 34th birthday on Friday last year I asked you to ask if you had any advice for my 33rd birthday. You said being 33 is shite. You were spot on, really? 34 is going to be an absolute cracker for you. Felix thinks this up, I would never refund my free Amazon Prime subscription. 
Thank you very much for not getting a refund with it. Now she said, you saw the pile of rubble. The is this getting rejected? Is this one getting rejected? Bypass is a must, but if you saw this prize, you'd be sore at all the dust. Mm. No, they're thinking about it. A what? Oh, a hoover. Yes. Well, they're only about 30 quid. The ceramic bean costs more than that. <laughs> Fucking the wits on this car! <laughs> ah, did you see that? What's that? <laughs> oh, what's that? The grand tsunami bin goes well, though, hey! Um. Oh, he's delighted with that one, man. <laughs> Hearty laughs, man. Hearty laughs. Yes, with only about 30 quid, the ceramic bean costs more than that. <laughs> <laughs> That's how he got the job. That's how he got this job, because the producer, looking about, how do we get to present it, went to see him one night, and he just came up with some of these off-the-cuff remarks to the crowd. They didn't like his part, they didn't actually like his material that much. But somebody didn't quite heckle him, but they kind of said a wee thing, and he, he was a bit of banter, really quick-witted. We don't really care about his material being shite, we can, we'll write stuff for him. Something that makes something that makes what? Of... And you will say it dust. Work and lot of dirt. What makes dust? A car? Car's gone. Car's gone. Saves a lot of work. Hurry up. They're keeping it quiet, they're not letting you do shoes a little bit. Hurry up! <laughs> well, one's got to be rejected. We got the final two. The one that remains, of course, will Tell you what prize you're taking home with you tonight. We've lost the star prize, the car. We've lost the bin. But it will be a nice prize, I can tell you that. Which one? But we, we are going to have to press you. Um, time is marching on. And, you know, we, we do have to fit this programme in an hour. And that includes three minutes of adverts at the end. And three minutes of adverts in the middle. And actually... In fact, I think we've got a 15 minute break, 15 minutes, half an hour, then three quarters of an hour. Uh, we've got three ad breaks in the programme and then we've got one at the end. So, you know. What will you keep? Now then. <laughs> now then, will you? Now, Chris? I really don't know. Well, one has to go. Well, you, 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 you're going to have to pick. Um, if you don't pick, I'll pick. Which one will it be? Because I know what they are, and I will pick a shiter for you to be left with. I'll pick the worst one. I love the way Chris keeps giving it to Wendy. It's for you to choose. <laughs> but seriously, <laughs> got to fucking hurry up. Decision here, but we have to have a decision. Which wait, one will go? Wait, wait, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say it again. We have to have a decision. You've got to walk away. With, where's the Belfast couple? Right, we're going to get them back on. If you don't fucking give me an answer in 10 seconds, 9, 8, yes, I'm serious, 7, 6. What would you say, the cone? Yeah. The cone? Discard it. Discard the cone. You want to keep the nose? Right. Yes. You're going to reject the cone brought in by Joan Bellamo. Pine cone is well known in Canada. You were going to be going to Canada. Okay, Joan said you saw the pile of rubble, the bypass is a must, but if you saw this prize, you'd be sore at all the dust. Okay. Right, rubble, rubble, right, rubble. You know, like Rockies, rocks, Rockies, pine cones, Rockies, Rocky Mountains, the pine cones. You saw the pile of rubble, could this have been the bin? No, you know it couldn't be. If you saw this prize, you'd be sore at all the dust. Well, well what can you saw that would leave quite a lot of dust? Wood, 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 trees, trees. Yes, absolutely right. This fantastic, superb range, pine kitchen furniture. Dude, that's good. That's good. That's good. That's good. That's it. That's gone. Oh. That's shit. Yes, man. If you're a girl, we left in brilliant, man. That'd be fucking brilliant, wouldn't it? How good would that feel sitting there at that table getting dragged on like that? That'd be fucking amazing, man. 
I'd be smiling like that. I would be fucking smiling ear to ear. There you are. Just go around there, will you? There you are. Magnificent. You didn't have a motor car. Could you, could you have done with a suite like this? Well, unfortunately, our kitchen's so small that if we put this in it, we wouldn't get it. You wouldn't get it. Oh, I Good. think you're Good. It's a lovely prize. It's a nice. fabulous dress. Of course, the, the service was with it as well. And they're real flowers, they're not plastic. <laughs> I think we would have given you that. See the guy, see the husband, he's a double art in Dermid, what his name is, the Emperor. Ian Mick Dermid, 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 Dermid. What? The double. He's a double. Kind of, sort of. A bit. Kinda. Slightly. A wee bit. Fractionally. Fractionally. Not at all. Not the slightest. The table. Thanks very much once again, Fiona. Fellas, it has to go. Let's see what we've got. Let's see Fiona go away. Let's... No. Well, I don't know what it is you've chosen for them, I really don't. <laughs> However, it says, I'm sure you'll still be happy if you win, lose or draw. But if I scare you off this prize, it would be the last straw. So, possibly football results this is, so possibly... I just can get getting told just what's a game, an outcome, a, a, a score, a score of a game or something like that, I think. OK, the prize you're taking back with you. <clears throat> well, I'm sure you're going to be happy if you win, lose or draw. Well, nobody really loses on 3-2-1. Well, well, the day? I mean, all right, if you walk away with 60 quid, it's better than fuck all. But you dare lose. I mean, that's the whole thing with Dusty Bin, kind of. Even our lovely couple from Northern Ireland, they went home with a Dusty Bin and 70 pounds. So... You should be happy, but naturally, you'll be happier if you go away with a good prize. Well, if I scare you off this prize, it's said. Well, if a scarecrow scares something, what does it usually do? If it's a bird, it flies away. Oh, 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 oh! Listen to this fucking clue! I scares, 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 so scare. What, what does a thing scare? Scares a bird, did not it? What does a bird do? What does a bird do? Bird's got feathers, did not it? So it's got feathers. What's a bird got? You know, sometimes if a bird flies away, a wee feather. We have got you luxury quilts and pillows. That's where we're going to do for you. We're going to fly you away for a two-week fabulous holiday in Europe. Just take a look at that. Any, anywhere in particular? Alison Temple Savage and Libby as I live and breathe. Yes. There's Libby and there's Alison dressed Thank up in lovely hostess uniforms. Fucking love that name, Temple Savage. There's a two-week holiday in Europe. That's where you're going to go. Have you been to Europe at all before? Yes. Fucking in Europe! Yes, you have. We have well, funny. this holiday is just a little bit different because you can choose exactly where you want to go. Oh, that's so that can't be bad. We can't give you... <laughs> Really? Decided, yeah. Ah, well, you're going to have... Wait, wait, wait. There's a two-week holiday in Europe. That's where you're going to go. Have you been to Europe at all before? Yes, yes you have. We have. Well, wonderful. this holiday is just a little bit different because you can choose exactly where you want to go. Oh, that's wonderful. So that can't be bad. We can't we give you... We planned holiday last week. Really? Decided, yeah. Ah, well, you're going to have a lot more planning to do. Unfortunately, <laughs> you don't have a car to take with oh, it, but you've got right. a marvellous holiday. Just a minute. Come on in, Fiona. There's a little something that goes with it. Yes? And, of course, is Karen... Um, these lovely bags, they're just travelling bags that case go with it. They're rather gorgeous, aren't they? Travelling bag? There's money you won in the quiz. Can you remember what that was? Well, it's not the the cold suitcases. That, they're rather gorgeous. Karen here. These lovely bags, they're just travelling bags that cases uh, go with it. They're rather gorgeous, aren't they? There's also... The, 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 no suitcases, they're briefcases. No suitcases. Briefcases. These are not travelling bags. That's like for keeping like documents in and stuff like that. That's 
Honey, you won in the quiz. Can you remember what that was? That was 320. Because if you can't remember, you know, we'll just call it 50, if you can't remember. You've got to remember exactly what it was, so you get nothing. Believe. And that includes the holiday. You don't get the holiday either. That is also yours. I think you've won a fabulous prize. Yes, Congratulations, thank you. Wendy. Mm. You too, Chris. Good luck. Say hello to thank everybody you. in Little Hampton. And well, ladies and gentlemen, we look forward to seeing you all next week. Take care. Till then. Good night, everybody. Have a wonderful week. So we can we can go anywhere in Europe. Alright then. I want to go to uh, East Germany. You could get into East Germany, couldn't you? You could get in. For one day. But uh, four doesn't count uh that nothing I don't even think there was a three four nothing 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 four the one does the count I don't, I don't count the one that's at the side it's got to be that it's got to be done like that there you are Again. Fiona Carlson, Karen, who's Karen? Oh, aye, aye, aye. Libby Roberts, Alison Temple, so that fucking name. Uh, what's your name? Alison. Alison Temple Savage. <laughs> Sounds like a game. Sounds like a game. Temple Savage. It's like some shite I would find on uh, Daniel's phone. What's all this fuck? These shite games he's fucking stolen. All sorts of fucking... Fucking tracking stuff and fucking ad stuff and all that. Was that end of the day with Temple Run? I don't know. Fucking shite you're putting on that fucking phone. It's probably fucking watching us right now. Oh dear! We've got ourselves a culprit, Ted Rogers material by Wally Malston. I would not have my fucking name done as that. If anything, I'd be paying a lot of money to have my name removed. Removed. I'd be getting this, I would be gone on this, I'd be like they incorporate strikes in these videos to make sure they're no traced. What a milestone. What a horrific sort of family secret. Don't you look at the camera. No, no, no. This isn't about you. Imagine why they're even farted. <laughs> imagine, imagine if you're like him, go like, you know what? I'm just gonna fucking fart and see if any cunt does it. Don't you look at the fucking camera? This is not your program. Just like that. Just like that. Woo. What a fucking programmer. Jesus. Fucking hell, man. I feel like it's been on, I, I, I've been streaming for about 24 fucking hours like that. Mm. Fucking times it, two, not even that long. Not even that fucking long. My oh my. Damn good stuff. Three twenty-one months. Greasy geezer. Thanks for the sub. 
What a fucking program. Oh, what a program. Brilliant fucking thing. So, straw. Right? So, straw. That's a holiday. He just rejected the fucking holiday. We played it. Do you know how I said the word simple? What words can you think of that don't have... Like, you know how the word simple's got the letter S in it? Do you think of a word that hasn't got a letter S in it? That's right, holiday. You've just rejected the holiday. Because it's no in it, so you're not getting it. Do you know what I mean? Because we knew you weren't going to get it. So that's why it's no in it, you see? You see? I don't... But it'll, it'll click once once you've... So it's all gone a bit too fast for you. Once you leave you, it'll click, but... You, no, you know, you, you, you fucked it. I think the pressure got to you a wee bit. It's cool. Everybody, thank you very, very much. Thanks for the subs, the resubs, the bits and the tips. Thank you very much for watching. Mods, thank you very much for all the modding. And I will send you as er to a scrubious pip. And I will see you tomorrow at 9.30am. We've got right fucking back in there for another fucking 3 2 one. Another. And then Wednesday, another. Thursday, another. And Friday, another. And we keep going all the way up to the end of the year. Bye for now.